and do not necessarily reflect the opinions of SUV TV, its sponsors, or affiliates. Uh, now that we got all those uh, pleasantries out the way, fellas. <laughs> okay, we reloaded. Let's go. Hey, love the game podcast in this thing. I am your gracious host. I'm not so gracious. I'm grateful. I may not be so gracious. <laughs> the man with the face made for radio, man. Uh, your your host, Madre Allen, up in this thing. I'm so happy to be here uh, on SUV TV. And we kicking it off, big dog. We here. We here. What a weekend. We had a perfect weekend to go do it. Oh, yeah. To my left, former state champion, future state <laughs> champion. Y'all know what time it is? Three NBA my brother players. from Ben Hill, coach three, coach three NBA players on the same team, and I was there for those games. Y'all didn't want no smoke. <laughs> coach Huff, what's good, brother? Hey, we here, fellas. What's up? What's up? We hey, y'all know what time it is. Oh, we made it. Yeah. <laughs> hey, man. The man with a million dollars worth of scholarships in his hand. <laughs> One million dollars worth of scholarships in his hand. Creekside assistant. Georgia Kane, 17U head coach. Be Will, what's good? What's going on, man? What's going on? Well, they say anything is possible. You put in a Canes jersey, man. Anything is possible. Anything, anything is possible. Possible in a Georgia Look. Canes jersey. Look, that phone in his hand. Look. <laughs> Look. I think I'm Jerry Maguire over here. Got the phone in my hand. Hey, look, he got the red rich, phone. Hey, hey, young Rich Paul trying to, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what it is, man. He got the red phone. You know, anytime in the old movies, a president pick up the red phone, that's when it's action, dog. Hey, man. That's when it's action. Hey. Pick up the red phone. Hey, I honestly think Bryce probably was the hottest AU coach this summer, man. All just, summer. Just all summer. With all the stuff that happened with the Canes this summer. I mean, every every time yeah. somebody sees me, they're like, man, you had a great summer. I'm like, it's probably one of the best basketball summers I've had like in my entire life. Like, you had a kid hey, go from hey. one division two offer hey, to 30 D1 offers? That is nuts. Oh, yeah. Nuts. You no, I have nothing. Oh, I had a, are you listening? I had a whole bunch of hard work and a, and a lot of miles in my tank and going to get people and calling people and going to gyms and so, so talking to people. You and don't have to be on the shoe company team? Nah. Independent grind, baby. Nah, independent grind. Independent grind. Straight baby. grind. Oh, like listen. a lot of grind. I hope they are, man. Grind, baby. With grind. this new um live period, new recruiting period, man. Hey, you gotta find the right fit. But here's the thing, and, and that's we, the thing. We, you know, we made sure that we found the right kids and the right fit so that when we came for a live period, we we only lost, I think we lost two games in April and then two games in July. One game in July. So when coaches see that they're playing together, you know what I mean, and you're winning, people always want. They're going to recruit a winner. You know what I mean? They want winners. No, most so, de most no definitely. Most and we saying all that to say, ain't no suckers in our circle. <laughs> oh, no. That's what we really trying to Never say. That. Ain't no Never suckers that. in our Never circle that. while we playing. Never that. While we playing. Um, hey, man. <laughs> Owner, operator of Locksway Hoops. Scout, talent evaluator. Lock got like 17 jobs. Scout, talent evaluator Jamaican. for On The Radar. And one, the owner, the creator the founder, the brain trust of one of the best camps in the country. The <laughs> freshman U camp took off, dog. Oh, Dante yeah. Madlock, what's up, bro? Hey, hey, man. Locks way is the only way. Y'all know what it is. Hey, man. It's that time. It's camp season. Yes, sir. It's camp yeah. season, bro. We went Every off. Every weekend. It went <laughs> Every weekend. <laughs> Every weekend, man. Hey, it went off, dog, in the city oh, this weekend. Oh, most definitely. It went off the past couple weekends, actually. Yeah. Had Sean's camp on the radar. The breakout camp, man, last week. <sighs> Crazy. Good camp, man. A lot Crazy. of talent. A lot of talent. 180 something kids. <sighs> Dog, you had people getting videos from uh, Bleacher Report from mm -hmm. overtime. Man, it was overtime nuts. Overtime moves, yeah. Crazy. 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 Slam Magazine. Not just, not just yeah. Media. We Everybody. National. Everybody. Yeah. National, yeah. national yeah. coverage. Then we follow it up the very next week, and freshman, you jump off. Oh, yeah, man. Hey, if you wasn't a freshman and you didn't make Sun Camp or my camp, man, I just feel like you missed a great platform, man. For any freshman just to get your name out there, just to make your debut before your high school season. But I got something in store for y'all if you didn't make it. So just got, tune in for that. We got to tell them what it is, man. This, this is the thing that I ran into a lot. As uh, some of you may know, some of you may not know, 
I'm a co-founder of Georgia Man Up. We're an independent program for AAU and deal with a lot of parents, a lot of players all the time. And one of the questions was, Coach, should I really be coming to this camp? Is this something that I should attend? Mm -hmm. And a lot of times people forget that parents – sometimes don't know and 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 everybody uses the same language nowadays so a lot of times a lot of these camps it looks the same they yeah. are not the same trust me no they're not and i think this is our opportunity to kind of educate i wanted to let parents know some key things that you can look for to understand should i attend this camp i want to open it up to guys that know let's talk to parents and say what how, how can we tell them what camp they should go to Camp you should attend are the camps that are actually gonna help your kid. Yep. Are there college college uh, coaches there, which right now they there can't be, but are there media there that can get out to college coaches? Yeah. Who's there watching? We just talked about on the radar the breakout camp and having national media there. Like if there's no media, there's no college coaches. Then yeah. That's a in yeah. my opinion. There's no tweets going out. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, that's a that's a waste of time. Yeah. Like we talked about certain camps that you can go to, and we talked about you know freshman freshman year. We talked about on the radar breakout. You know we've talked about uh, hoop scene of prep uh, hoops. Prep hoops. Uh, Southern, yeah. hoops report, Southern hoops report. Southern hoops, hoops report. report. Yeah. Yep. You know, or, or we talked about Siebel who has. Oh yeah, Siebel's been, been down for a minute. Of yeah. Division two, division three, hey. NAIA JUCO coaches. They are live and in person. Man, and don't sleep yeah. on those events, bro. Yeah, don't sleep a on Corey man, Black. Hey, everybody ain't D1 number one. It's not a knock against you if you aren't. Those Seba, Seba been doing that for a long time. They've been getting kids. I think Seba the OG about getting of all of this. Yeah. 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 I, I, I went to Seba camps. Yeah. 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 yeah, for sure. Yeah. Getting kids yeah. on, not just throwing yeah. a camp with lights and all that. Yeah. Like, they getting right. kids offers. Yeah, and also, um, you know, down my way, where I'm from, um, good guy Corey Black. On, got so Thanks. many kids, CB Thanks. Black man. Thanks. Shout out CB. Consistently throw great camps every year and get kids in school, especially those kids in those small towns and small country towns and different things like that. He gets those kids to the next level. So shout out to Corey Black man. You got you got to be careful, man. Everybody is throwing camps. Well, I got a camp here. I got to showcase it. They can't. Right. I mean, it's a lot of. Everybody ain't getting people on. Like Locke said, bas did basketball thing, the new dope game. That what Locke said the other <laughs> week on the podcast. You either slang or bang. Stay slang or bang. <laughs> that statement could not be more true because at the end of the day, it's a lot of kids. It's a lot of guys throwing camps, trying to get paid, trying to make a check. But it's not a lot of guys uh, giving back value uh, for those camps. One thing that Locke won't necessarily say. He don't always toot his own horn, but I'll say this about. I'll say this about Locke. I'll say it about Sean, and I'll say the same thing about Chris Watkins at Southern Hoops for Prime. Oh, we got to say it go, about Trent, too. Yeah, Trent, Trent Fast. Trent, Trent go also. To, go to a camp where the director of the camp is going to come to your game after exactly. you attend. These guys go exactly. to games. And, and to me, that's something that's important as well. Like, it's not just I'm going to come, pay my money, and I don't never see this dude ever again. Mm -hmm. Like, you got to have, you know, be able to People touch in the, gym. the person. Yeah. Yeah, you got to see your face 100%. in the gym. And I think that's one thing I always tell guys, you can text me. I, I put my number on my website. 100%. I'm like, you can call me, you can text me, you can send me, you can send me the yeah. schedule. Hey, my phone about to blow up right if now. If I'm if I'm available, <laughs> I come watch your games. Like I love Lock sitting away. in the gym. Like I feel like that's my getaway. I got all this other crazy stuff going hey, on. Lock so just that's gave his number out like Mike Jones. Bro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he just gave his number out like Mike Jones. Who? <laughs> two two nine three. <laughs> Eight zero zero four. Oh. Hey, but look. The, the other part about camps is you got to know what camp your son or daughter. Is. Can be at. Can compete at. Yeah, and do their best at. And do well. We we just gave multiple examples of different camps, and all of them have various levels of talent at those camps. Oh yeah. You definitely want to line your kid up um, with one of those camps where their talent is equal to those guys. And I know parents is asking, well, how do I know? Hey, you may want to just go. You may want to go and check out some of these events before you send your kid. Or in my case, because camp play is different. Right. You may want to send your kid to a couple of camps to get them used to that type of environment. Oh, yeah. Well, that, that's what I did to, to two of my, my freshmen. I sent them to, to freshman U, first camp setting they've had, so they get their feet wet versus other freshmen. Other freshmen, 100%. yeah. You know, not against a senior. You know, where. <laughs> Trying to guard Davion Smith. That that Aaron, like, yeah. <laughs> them, that's know, not going to happen. I'm not going to send them to, to on, on a radar breakout session. That one for them. 
100 percent 100 i've done that with my son before i sent him to an on the radar camp where you know it was dylan hunter and zako littleton and all that where he wasn't he wasn't ready for that but i had to let him see it yeah right, right? get that I had, feel yeah I had to let him get that feel level, understand the level. he levels okay, to it like you gonna have to work to oh, really yeah. get to this right. level and it inspired him to go hard sent him to freshman u south carolina as yeah, an eighth yeah. grader Most to get a chance yeah. to see like okay this is what level you're gonna have to be at to compete and it set the tone every time we in the gym if i remind him of that he going we getting up another hundred another 200 shots you know what Most i'm saying definitely. before we leave the gym and it also helped him understand that i can't play in a camp setting the same way i'm gonna right. go play in a in totally a system different. i mean it's totally, totally different in, you know, like in the camps, we don't have time as coaches. We don't have time to to practice and say, okay, we're well, gonna come off this screen, Most definitely, uh, yeah. or this V cut and come get open. The thing about camps is, it's like sometimes you really got to be able to go get a bucket, and you know that separates those kids you're talking about from the lesser. You know what I mean? The other kids, like you got to yeah. be able to go get a bucket sometimes. Yeah. And you may not, as a coach at a camp, you may not even know the strength of but a kid. kid yep. Like at Locks Camp over the weekend. You know, even though we know we want to see kids go get a bucket, like I was still telling the kids, you can get noticed if you're playing hard, if you're playing, exactly. if you're competing on defense, exactly, or if you're talking on defense, or exactly. you know, if you make the extra pass or you drive and kick. So a lot of people don't realize that college, even college coaches are looking in AAU games to see, okay, well, are they making extra pass? Are they driving? Mm -hmm. Are they just looking for themselves? So 100%. Just, just, 100%. just use what what happened in June with the NCAA of Georgia. Right. You know, we had the team camp setting one week, and then we had the top 100, 100, 100 camp. camp. Yep. Two different settings. It's two different type yeah. of environments. I mean, you had kids that looked great at one, not so great at yeah. other, or vice yeah. versa. They looked yeah. great at top 100. Yeah. And in the high school team, they didn't look good. Right. And, and yep. it could be for various reasons. Various yep. reasons, 100%. Yeah. I, and I think that's important to bring up, too, the culture aspect of it. Oh, yeah. Who, find, parents, before you pay your money, find out. Who's running the stations at those camps? That's important. Oh, yeah, What instruction are you, will your kid be getting and who are they getting yeah. it from? And I think that's why I tried to do something different this year, just basically shout out who's working at my camp and letting people know I got this high school coach. People. Yeah, I got experienced yeah. people, not people who just showing up, just want to come do drills. Because, like I know, like I told you guys, people have been calling me for weeks about working with my camp, working the camp, but y'all know my motto, if you don't know the type of girls I like. <laughs> <laughs> right. You know, it's, but even with the, yeah. <laughs> but even with the kids though, the kids can, the kids are going to be honest. They're going to say, yeah. man, that dude ain't know what he was talking right. about. Right, 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 right. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's like, 100%. your coaches are, are a, a big piece of, of the puzzle. Like, you know, you know, who are they coaching? Where are they coaching? What are we going over? Stuff like that. You know, yeah. they, they're going to tell the truth. Like, when they get in the car, man, that dude really ain't. You, and you walk into the freshman you, and you, if you say your coach didn't know what he's talking about, you, you're you telling somebody that a varsity coach or a lead assistant at a good program, program didn't know yeah. what they were talking about. Yeah. Like, it's, it's, it's a very small chance that that's going to, that that actually takes place. It's more likely your kid just didn't play well. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, that, that can't happen. <laughs> but. But not only for that, not only this weekend, the kids have an opportunity to go to a camp and get better. Coaches had an opportunity to go to, to a better, camp yeah. and get better. Minority Coaches Association of Georgia. Did I get that right? I got that right. Got hey, man, I'm uh, on it, dog. I'll let your boy. Um, my, <laughs> listen, listen. I got one more name that I got to learn. I got to learn the big kid from Green Forest. I'm going to learn his actual name. I just I say, I call him DK. <laughs> <laughs> I keep it simple. That's but, <laughs> The Minority Coaches of Georgia, you guys had a aspiring head coaches uh, uh, clinic this week. We did. We did, man. It, it was great. We had uh, great speakers. We had great people to come out who wanted to get better, who wanted to become head coaches. Or maybe they were already a head coach and they wanted to, to learn more. Uh, so we had, you know, Daniel Bowles come speak on the interview process. I, I don't know how many people understand how huge that is about understanding what you need to have for the interview. How can you get a job? Um, then we had uh, Sherman White um, uh, of Pace Academy, and he spoke on networking. One of the big things that I took, two big things I took for him. Your network equals your net worth. <laughs> your network equals your net worth. I wrote that down myself on Saturday. Then the second one is ignore the noise. Mm. Yeah. It, when, you, when you get to the position that, that, that he's in, USA Basketball, seven state championships, former college coach, there's a lot of noise 
that goes on in the background. Mm -hmm. oh, what is it? You ignore it. Because yeah. when they're not talking about you, that's probably the that's probably the problem then, right? Hey, listen. Um, then we, we, we had a, a group of coaches on a panel. You know, we went down to South Georgia hey, a lot. I we appreciate that. I appreciate that. <laughs> Kervin Davis, yeah. Lee County. Lee County High School, uh, man. We got him. We got Terry Smith, uh, Rome High School. And got Cedric King, the girls coach at Lovejoy. And we just did a round table where coaches could, could shout out questions, ask them, you know, things they wanted to know. What do you do this in your program? Uh, that was very good. We had um, Tony Watkins. Athletic director at Holy Innocence. Yes, sir. Talk about what administrators look for uh, when they're in the hiring process. Mm -hmm. You've got to know that kind of stuff. Um, we had Marcus Hood of Marietta High School talk about family, faith, and basketball. <laughs> he, he left me with, with one great thing for all you coaches that are married. He said that if the coach tells you he's on his way home, realize that means two hours later. So just understand that because he's probably talking with the coaching staff about something else. Thanks. Um, and, and he really he really hit home with a lot of coaches there and touched their hearts. Uh, and we had Darius Hodge, who's now the assistant principal at Hiram High School, former head coach, coach Hodge. at Hiram, Hiram High Dude. School. Thanks. And he, Great coach. he talked about the portfolio. You know, in football, everybody talks about portfolio. Mm -hmm. Basketball, a lot of people don't have a portfolio. He showed them his portfolio. He's out the game now. Wow. He showed them here and said, this is what you need to get a job. job. Yeah. That's huge. I, I I can't say anything else about that. Can't beat that, man. I mean, that's 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 doing a lot of the, <laughs> <laughs> that's doing a lot of the work for you. Um, one thing before we move to the next topic, I want to make sure that we shout out our hashtag, man. You can engage with us on Twitter at L O T G P R. Love of the Game Podcast Reloaded. L-O-T-G-P-R. Tweet at us. Use that hashtag. We'll pick it up. We might read your question on the show. We might read your statement on the show. Say something funny. I might read it for real. <laughs> Say something funny. Somebody, take a shot at somebody. somebody I might take read it. Take a shot. She's going to read it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so tweet at us live. Don't get out of here without David Aiken also. Team Belief had a great clinic. This week. For sure. We had Kevin Eastman, uh, Sherman White, Jesse McMillan. I had a bunch of people speak. I, I think that's another great clinic. So you... The city was on fire. It was on fire. Hey, but next year we cannot schedule yeah, our events on the same day. We got to the same day. Got to go back to make sure. And we messed with David Aiken too, man. He yeah, had us, had him on the show last year. Mm -hmm. Great talking about that team belief. I, I got to do it. Plug. Shameless plug. I'm sorry. Shameless plug alert. Georgia Minority Coaches Assist, uh, Association uh, Fall Preseason Clinic, September 13th. Friday, September 13th. Lock it in. Get your professional day. Get out of school. Whatever you got to do, coaches. Rob Lanier, new head coach, Georgia State. Uh, Amir Rahim, new head coach, Kennesaw State. Neil Fortner, new women's coach, Georgia Tech. And we're going to have a banger to bring up the end. And then for our round table at that one, we've got Alex Ireland, head coach, Dalton State, NAI, along with Robert Moore, head coach, Columbus State, D2. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Along with Rico Dawson, head coach, Central Georgia Tech, JUCO. What other players? Oh, on man. the floor. Oh. On the floor. They're going to have on-court demonstrations. So when they're telling you about a drill, guess what? You're going to be able to see it. It's not just going to be on the screen. I, I don't know what else to say. Oh, we pulling up. Hey, man. Hey, listen. <laughs> I got to say something about those about the Minority Coaches Association, too. They throw events not just for high school coaches. If you are a parent that is out here trying to coach AAU, yes. pull yes. up, dog. Build Pull a relationship up. with the college coach, 100%, man. 100%. When we, had, when we had the one in, in the spring, right before the live period, we had college coaches in there that came and watched. We had AAU coaches. It was packed in there. Yeah. It was packed. Right it, was there, packed. it was packed. I mean, the we had to move, we had to move us, into the other to room. The room oh, yeah. Because there were so many people there. Hey man, I didn't the, get an invite. The name of the game. <laughs> the, the I didn't get an invite. invite for the media. <laughs> right, right, yeah. I didn't get an invite. Come on, bro. Yeah. Come on, bro. The name of the game is getting your kids on, man, and learning as much as possible. And when you have an event like that, I'm speaking for myself. As an AAU coach, dog, you got to pull up, bro. You got to get all the knowledge that you can get from those coaches um, and network your network. <laughs> Yeah. Is your network, network. You know what I'm saying So Shout out White. <laughs> Pull up man Make sure you get those relationships Make sure you get there And a lot of the events Really don't be costing like that dog. Like you gotta You know what I'm saying it's Not a Nike clinic <laughs> No <laughs> but, man, Hey I peel for one I of those I just love how you got coaches from everywhere 
like people don't sure. know Rico Dawson. Yep. One back to back, you know, one two, back yeah, back yeah, back to back years. You don't know what Hutch is. Parents find out what Hutch is. You talk about JUCO basketball. Your team goes to Hutch. That players on that team gonna get recruited by Division One program. Exactly. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. And you got Robert Moore, South Georgia. You know, Tiff County got he won't recruit South Georgia kids like that. <laughs> but that's, you guys got a good staff. Hundred percent, man. Got to do staff. it. That those again, just to inform, make sure like these events, man. Like if you really about this, if you really about the kids in your program. You got to go all out. So, yeah, you may have to take a day off from work or whatever, but it's 100% worth it because where else are you going to go to hey. get this type of hey. this yeah, type of information? Two weeks. We yeah. two weeks. But, 100%. hey, they take it off of A&U tournaments every weekend sure throughout the 100%. summer. Hey, got to always so, get better, man. Let's get to – I know we got a whole bunch of people on the line waiting to hear about Freshman U. You go get your name called, brother. We're going to get into this, dog. We're going to get into the Freshman U. Oh, Lock, man, talk a little bit about – your camp, how you put it together, what it means to have it be so successful. Man, like, I started this three years ago with the first group, um, the 2021 group, and like I say, I was I had a personal relationship with that group because I coached kids in that class. You know, I started coaching that class with um, a good friend of mine named Coach Johnny with Game Elite. Now he coached um, YRN, and we started with that group. And so when them kids got in the eighth grade, you know, going to a ninth, the ninth grade, a lot of those kids didn't get invited to those big camps, but I knew they can play. So I was like, why, 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 why wouldn't I set up a platform for every freshman to just come display their talents? And so, man, me and um, my, my dude, my OG, um, Sean from On The Radar, <laughs> he used to be OG. on me, man, like, man, what you going to do? Hey, you need to put something He going to call you, right? Yeah, he going to be gonna on me, you. like, man, what you need to do? put something. What you going to do? I mean, every morning, you need to figure out. So I finally just figured out, man, me and my um, my, my guy, Zarko Littleton, like, without him, like I said, he was on me too about it. And I started it up. And so basically, when I um put it out there, my first person that registered, Andrew McConnell. Mm. Nice. Like the first person that registered for the camp, yeah. I put him out there. He's improved. A yeah, whole and he's lot. improved. Yeah, since and then. since then, man, you Don't know. Me. He's, <laughs> he's improved a whole lot since then. <laughs> and so. It just took off, man. I think, you know, the first camp, I had some of the top kids y'all probably can name. You Matthew know, Cleveland. I had Chance Moore. Chance Moore, Matthew, Matthew Cleveland. Cleveland. R.J. Oh, Nord. Yeah. Um, R.J. Um, Nord in the building. R.J. Nord. Isaac could be they, like, Coy Matt- Reese. Madison Nobody. Madison. Madison didn't come, Madison man. Didn't come. I'm Madison. still mad at so Madison. So really are talking about what was considered top 20? Yeah, top 20. 20. Hey, 21. 21. Payne Daniels. Yeah. Payne, he was yeah, there. He like, was there. A lot of those kids made their name known, and they nobody wouldn't have known them, I, I think, until, you know, really that, put them on that the platform. Yeah. Really yeah. put them on the it map, started. 100%. Started. Last year's camp was crazy. Oh, yeah, Somebody. I enjoyed I really enjoyed last year's camp. Zocco, TJ, Grant, like. Oh, yeah, last year was loaded. Like, it was yeah, crazy. Yeah, last year was loaded. Yeah. This, and, and then following up this year, another good group of kids. Another good group. Got really a, good group, Got a man. chance to put their name up. I saw more bigs, I felt like, at this camp. Kids were size this, this I year. I think it was more size this year. I was able to get a lot of size. Some six, 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 you know, six, eight, six, ten, DK from Green Forest. <laughs> yeah, I was happy for him to come. In there, <laughs> yeah. for sure, for yeah. sure. And so, I think the, um, the camp went very well, man. But shout out to just my staff, man. I think. The people that came, my media, you know, I had baseline, sideline, come all the way from Florida. Yep. He came. Trent always shows love. Yep. Um, also, grassroots, you know, on the radar. Yep. All those guys always come, um, and they do a great job doing social media. SUVT. SUVT. I know. SUVT was coming. It was I was going to say last but not least. Oh, no. But shout out. Shout out. Shoot at him. What you got shot? Shoot at him. Oh, shout out to SUV TV, Hoop Hustle, but yeah, really shout out to SUV TV. Like, I'm actually like watching kids making highlight tapes from their film, from the game. Yeah, 100%. Like, I've been watching follow that me on Instagram. Morning. Yeah, on Instagram, yeah. <laughs> Let's go. But listen, we're going to give a full breakdown. Every kid that attended the camp will not get their name called because it was 105 kids at the yeah. camp. If we called everybody's name and everybody got a highlight, the show would be seven hours I long. My <laughs> <laughs> you didn't pay for this, Basketball though. Basketball ain't an equal opportunity sport. 100%. We all, we all know that. Time. Time. Basketball is not an equal opportunity sport. 100%. Like, got to earn it. But we will go in-depth, show some highlights. We're going to yeah. talk about some players who who, who – 
really were top performers at the camp. Yeah. We're going to show as much love as we possibly can. But the show will be seven hours if we talk about every oh, kid. Yeah, man. And I promise you, I could. Holler at me. I, yeah, we could. We, we go really could. You're going to get those player you evaluations. Have a list of notes. I can attest to that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> hey, look, man. I, I love the game so much, and I love watching the kids. Not just the kids. that, And I think Locke feels the same way. I want to talk about the kids that everybody talk about all the time. Yeah. Right? I, I saw some kids that were playing good basketball that that are on smaller AAU teams oh, and yeah. go to smaller schools that deserve to have their name called as well. We're going to get into that yeah. later on in the show. Most definitely. And call Most out some definitely. top performers. Most definitely. Up next, we're going to um, mark your calendar. Mark your calendar because we got some great Seven events. days in a week. What? Um, seven days in a week. In Say it. Seven days in a week. We do it better week. than anybody else. When it comes to throwing <laughs> events, <laughs> when it comes to putting together we the do. smoke, that we DJ do. be in there, touch as you do. walk in the building. Listen, DJ be in there. We do. We do. The <laughs> crazy. Listen, we do it better than anybody, man. Um, and we got some powerful events where the schedule just got released. There's another event that I don't have to schedule. I'm waiting. Sean, I'm waiting for your, for your schedule for the preseason event, big dog. I'm waiting. but It's going to be some um, great matchups. The Atlanta Hawks Naismith Holiday Classic, their schedule got released. Um, I think it was teams. The teams. The teams got, got, they got the teams. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, they got some the teams. Tough, yeah. tough match, teams. Yeah, some tough games in that yeah, one. Yeah, interesting to see some of those matchups. Yeah. Listen, was up there last year watching watching you at Duluth last year. You were, you were. That, that big screen is something else, isn't it? Man, it is. <laughs> Listen, but this that goes back to what we said. The power <coughs> of being on this platform in Atlanta yeah. with the media coverage that we got. Um, the Jerry Cook Classic, same way I saw their schedule. It's always um, a good tournament, good event. That, that, that's, that's, that's a slept on tournament. It is. Yeah, it is. It really is. Shout out to, to Matt Garden over at North Burnett for what they do for that Jerry Cook. Um, they, they put out matchups. They do. They put out matchups. Shout out SUVTV for the matchup. Matchup, yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, for, for, uh, Jericho Classic. Hey, you talking about Grayson versus Milton. We saw that this summer. We know what that. That, that was only summer basketball. So that, that's that's going to be a track meet. <laughs> that's going to be that's Man, you talking about Bruce Thornton. Ooh, you talking about Kane and Carlisle. You talking about some young dudes. Caleb Murphy. Caleb Murphy. Hey, Caleb Murphy. Like, you Terrain Lane. Those, you talking yep. about those young yeah. dudes to yep. get some, some senior guards. What? That's gonna be fun. That's gonna be some good. Hey, I love it. Man. Don't duck that smoke. What is it? Right? That's yeah. what, that, that. I love it, man. man I, think I love it. Coaches love that matchup. I think you know, Coach Pierce and, and, and Coach Whitehart. I think that's an early season matchup. It's gonna test that you. Helps them yeah. get better. Right. So when it comes February, they can be still. They're like, right, hey, right, look, right. I saw. I and saw. I don't have to worry about it anymore in seven days. So. <laughs> what you say? Thank, what'd you say? Thank you. <laughs> I saw. Got worried about Green Forest. <laughs> I saw I saw personally, hey look, you had Grayson versus uh Mount Bethel in the June uh, matchup. And there was a lot of people thinking that Mount Bethel was gonna get wiped off the floor. Didn't happen. Right? Mm -hmm. Milton might be you know what I'm saying? Milton might go in there. They ain't no slouches. They got a good point guard. They got a great shooting guard. They got yeah. Devin Farrell uh uh I like on, on that team as well. I like, you know, they got some guys they could play. I think Milton is one of those teams you better watch out for. Well, for they're sure. well coached and they're disciplined. So, I mean, with, with talent, I mean, they can go. They're gonna go far. They're gonna go far. Yeah. That's a prime time matchup there too. There is a prime time matchup. I ain't talking about my. <laughs> 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 I'm being for real. That, that, you know, that matchup of, of, of pace versus Saint Francis. For <laughs> hey, listen, man. Hey, get listen. Get there early. Listen. Yeah. Get there early. Listen, man. Let me go. Let me go ahead and. Uh, That's gonna sell out. Yeah. <laughs> hey, let me go ahead and um, shoot myself some bail on this real quick. I'm still gonna say, and I said it, and I'm still gonna say, with all due respect to Sharif Cooper, I'm still uh -oh. gonna say. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> listen, oh man! With all due, because I mean, I had to have a heart to heart with myself when it came to this, because they're literally I can't ask. He's cold. Him. Whatever you about to say, he's cold. Yeah, he is. Okay, he is all right. cold, and cold. I could not ask him to do anything better than what he has already done. And like, he's I had done it to, all. I had to stop and think all. about that and say, like, what is it that Sharif Cooper hasn't done that I could say he should do? To to say last he's done it all. Everything, everything there's everything. possibly everything. you could do last everything. year. Everything. He's yeah. done everything. He's he scored a lot of assists. Last year, yeah, he did it all. Cap off his career becoming Mr. Basketball. So why is it yeah. that when I watch Jawan Odom, did I feel like he's the best player here? 
I think Duan probably more exciting because he's because he's, 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 he's a little bit more explosive. explosive. He's bigger, athletic. Yeah. Look, I, the reason why I'm, I'm not getting fooled by dunks. I'm saying nothing against you. The best competitor. <coughs> he competes. Yeah. That's what I'm going. Any classification. No, no, I don't think. Well. Compared, like that man want to win every game. If you brought him but how, right now, dude, against one of us, he gonna try to true. murder But us Sharif won one. every game last yeah. year. So how can I'm you not, say? I didn't say he was. I said he's the best competitor. How much he wants to win. The only it, it, look. Hey. The only thing I can say though, too, we've not seen Dewan Odom I on mean, a team. With the ta- as loaded as we've seen with Sharif, and Sharif has been with those guys these had for a long time, and that's not a knock on him. I'm just saying when I watch Dewan, every time I watch Dewan Odom play, I feel like I'm seeing something special. Like I'm seeing something that I'm not gonna maybe not see again. True. And and I don't necessarily get that feeling, and I'm not calling out Sharif. I'm saying I don't get that feeling from watching anybody else play. But I've said that for a long time, B.J. Boston was my favorite high school player in Georgia. I don't get that feeling that I'm seeing something I'll never see again when I watch B.J. was his favorite B.J.'s just my favorite player. He is my favorite player. He is. But you, but you may but, never see a Sharif Cooper again, though. Either. I mean, just because I think we because will. he's not as, as explosive as DeJuan Odom, doesn't mean you're going to see a Sharif Cooper again, too. You know what that's, I mean? That's that's like, and I had, never to, seen and I had to look at look at it that way too, because even like at Locks Camp, instead of looking for the kids that are all with their six five, six six, you're probably going to see them too. But what about look, looking for a kid that's under six foot, hundred percent, hundred or five or five seven? It just so happens to never make a basketball yeah, mistake. Really so Sharif, Sharif Cooper never makes is a mistake. That under six footer that yeah. you may never see again. Right. I mean, he won City of Palms. He won a state championship. He didn't lose a game. You may not see that ever again. Like, yeah. That's it ain't like, he, that's, it ain't like people ain't coming that's, for him. That's a crazy resume. It ain't resume. like people ain't coming yeah. for him, man. He's holding it his own. Like, for him. They ain't yeah. ducking no matchups. They playing. What are talking about? Is he as good a competitor as one? And maybe we find that out this year. He might be more smooth, because though. Because he doesn't have the supporting cast that he has had. True. That's true. Right. We find out. That's true. This true. is the first time we're going to get a chance be the year. to watch year. Sharif without Isaac, mm-hmm. right, yep. without Stretch. Mm-hmm. Like now, now, because without Jared Jones, yeah. without Jared Jones, 100%. But will he still have that hunger mentality? That's he's that's won that's everything. That's what? That's like, that's, 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 I think he will because there's still, I mean, there's still, still more things for him to achieve. He can still go for McDonald's all America. He can still he's go to get that. But, you, but, you, but you still got to play. Yeah, yeah, I mean. So he still has a reason to lace play. up his shoes yeah. and play. It's not yeah. like I'm just, like, I'm done. But, but, but yeah. if, 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 we, if we diverge back to that matchups, you got some, some storylines in this game. That's facts. That's true. Odom versus Madison Durr. Who used to be at St. Francis? Uh, yeah, he, I mean, yeah. Be, be yeah. Yeah, I think. Yeah. Bryce, that's your kid. That's my kid, too. <laughs> and, that's, and, that's my nephew and, right and there. Listen, yeah. and, and another guy that's trying to stake his claim is, man, maybe I'm the best guy here. Matthew, Matthew Cleveland. Matthew Cleveland, yeah. Matthew, Matthew Cleveland, Cleveland, yeah. Trying to come with it. Say, nah, I'm the best guy here. Don't, and don't I think he we, we also forget about might be. Cole Middleton. Yeah, Cole. Yeah, we yeah. talked about Jay Sean Hope from St. Francis. Like, he's like, going to be a problem. problem. Oh, he's going to be a problem. He had a great yeah. summer. Everybody it's a problem. About Chase Ellis. Yeah. yeah. Like, nobody talks about him. Six four, six yeah. five. He does everything. He can shoot a three, go up and dunk it, gets rebounds. He does everything. He gets stuff done. He, he gets, gets it done. Yeah, he, he gets, gets he done. gets things done. That that's a math though. That's He's a like what we were, six we're seven now? Right, right now. now. Yeah, yeah, hundred yeah. yeah. yeah, percent. I can't wait. I'm ready. I'm ready. Like uh, we need to go ahead and get basketball season. How many days we got left? <laughs> oh, man. 70 man. days or man. something like that? Let Let's me, go. Let Let's me, fast forward let past just football enjoy season. Watching I go home. <laughs> let me just enjoy watching follow league games right now, man. Don't. Hey, so when you come watch St. Francis versus Pace, get there early because Holy Innocence plays Lanier. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. That's gonna be. Let's go. I'm looking hey, forward to that game, man. That, that goes back to Andrew McConnell. I, I've had a face in the last two years. He's well, I, I gotten. I that he's gotten yeah. better. Like yeah, a lot he, better. He's good. Yeah. He's good. Yeah. Cy Young James. I mean. Yeah. Oh yeah, Cy Young man. This is a. It's gonna be a test for us. Yeah. Coach Mayweather, I know you're gonna bring the heat. Hey, but <laughs> hey, hey, uh, uh, Huff over here copping please right now. But you got a couple players over there, big dog. He got a couple plays. He coming. Hey, 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 I'm, hey. I'm trying to do the coaching you know thing. You know where what, he no. dig up the other team. Like he ain't got no dogs over there. Like Huff, Chance Moore and Garrison ain't over there. Huff texted me when he got there. He said, "Watch I change Garrison game," and he did it. I watched Garrison like matter when you play when y'all played yeah. against West. Though. He did. Yeah. Garrison he did. is changing into a point guard. He is. Yeah. He yeah. really is. Cause I kept yeah. telling Huff, 
Man, I don't see it, man. good I, 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 so I, say, I don't see it. I watched, I I watched those same kids play um, at the Atlanta Hawks uh, Naismith Tournament last year. I watched them kids play. And I was just like, yeah, I mean, you know, I don't really see it. I mean, they good. They good. I like them. But, you know, Garrison is turning around. Yeah. IQ, he's yeah. playing yeah. way better. He's playing smarter basketball, playing control. I think it's going to change the trajectory of his whole career. To, um, to be a 6'4 six, four, six, four. point guard, point guard, 100%. Crazy. 100%. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. Then he can, yeah, yeah. So that's going to, that's going to, I think the question there. is when is Chance coming back? Chance is 90% ready. He's shooting, he's doing everything except for dunking right now. So he's ready. To Can't wait to see that guy back. <laughs> yeah. Can't wait to see that guy. I mean, look. He still ranked pretty high, too. So he, I looked at he's got to be. I mean, right now, I guess it was Georgia that got him ranked four. He didn't play. He hasn't played since like April. April. But does he March have April. to? At a certain point, sometimes no, you, he doesn't have to. You have to play. No, I don't think yeah. so because. But know. I mean, he, not that he doesn't have to play, but he's proven himself already in the past too. Like, True, but I think people know what, what he's is. capable. Yeah. Of. Right, people know what it is. I want to see him in this system though, playing with Garrison as a as a point guard. Yeah, like, that's I want to see him. Now he got somebody like making those decisions. The ball is moving a lot more with this team. Guys are playing defense now on this One team. Of the big things we, we just did, man. We know. A lot of kids, and it's not just these guys. They they want to hold the ball too much and pound, 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 pound. Yeah. and to, everybody's watching. Yeah. Uh, we chart passes, man. And we did it this summer, and it helped us a lot. Like we would see in the first half, and we only moved the ball thirty times. We only had thirty passes, and you wonder why we only scored this many points. points. In the second half, we moved it seventy times, seventy passes, and you wonder why everything changed. Hundred percent. So ball movement. I mean, as much. As much as you can take your man, you know, that's the phrase in the AU, take him, take him, take him. Yeah. You got to have ball, eat. you got to have man. <laughs> hey, <Yeah. laughs> you remember them, Bryce, remember them days in middle school? Mm-hmm. Remember that one, that one kid? Mm-hmm. His dad's be like, eat, eat, <laughs> Or eat. just yell attack yeah. every time. Please, if you yeah. don't be quiet. Yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. Hey, so while we talk about matchups, uh, let's talk league a little bit. Let's talk about the NBA for a little bit. Let's get uh, it. The NBA – Announced it's full regular season matchups. So we got regular season matchups. We got Christmas matchups that's going. Um, before we get into Christmas Day, I already know what game I want to talk about. But before we get into Christmas Day, <laughs> regular season. People say regular season don't matter, but I, I like some of these regular season games. Mm-hmm. Any regular season matchups that y'all can't wait to see? Lakers versus Clippers. Like that's the only Lock game. Ready. That's okay. the only game. Because I'm, I'm, a, I'm a Laker fan, but I love Patrick, you know, Patrick Beverly. You know, I like goons. Lake yeah. yeah, yeah. And Bill, man. man. Like How you yeah. still like goons in the NBA? That's over you with, like man. Oh, no, nah, don't try me like that, man. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Oh, whoa. hey, Dwight's going to be all right, though. This is last chance. Hey, relax. I was not, no. Dwight's going to be all right with the Lakers, though. Man, I'm not sold. What? He's got you don't have a choice. What? Hey, look. Hey, Davis look. Together. Look, we already know. Nah, Every time that we get a Laker fan, if you say Dwight Howard's going to be all right, that means you're a fan of the team that he's playing. I'm a fan <laughs> of the team. Look. <laughs> Anytime look, you say he's going to be all Lonzo right. If Lonzo Ball's dad was playing in the daggone team on the game, I, Lonzo Ball, that's going to be pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> that's my team. <laughs> the Lakers, other than the Wizards, the Lakers is my team. Oh, yeah, the Lakers is my team. How you got Look, for this role, and can he accept his role? If he accepts the role, is he better I mean, than a bunch of other stiff All he has to do is protect possibly. the rim and rebound and block shots. And I run the deck on floor and know right. that they ain't going to throw him the ball. You're not getting the ball. That's fine. Dwight Howard's going to the Hall of Fame. Oh, yeah, most I definitely. Argue that. I most definitely. That. I can't argue with that. I ain't yeah, argue most that. definitely. I, I mean, I, I can't argue that. He, Look, he'll make we, the ball we, we, we need a body. Like Bryce said, so, he in the league. Yeah. Wow. Well, went from MVP to in the league. In the league, <laughs> yeah. and should be happy. Get that check, bro. He's, Get that check. I mean, he's, he's back. Not guaranteed, though. It's, that's what I'm saying. He's got to come correct. Bro. He's going. He know where he stands look, right now. He got a non guaranteed. He's got to earn his. Money. I'm gonna tell you <laughs> who. Why you not listening to me, Marjorie? Dwight Howard has a non guaranteed NBA. He, he knows where he, he knows this. So is what it. you're saying is he's not gonna make it till Christmas. He's out of here. He's gonna he make it. Hey look, the first time, Kobe gonna the give first him that look time, again. hey the oh. first time, 
uh, he walked past LeBron Locker and accidentally trip over a pair of them 17s, you're out of here. <laughs> you're out of here, bro. Uh, that, but that's not – Dwight Howard may not know either. I know a whole team that don't know where they are in the league, and it's their GM fault. Who's talking about what team? I'm talking about them fools go Boston Celtics that wait till next year for the last four years. <laughs> Danny Ainge doesn't know where they belong in the league. I can't wait to okay, watch them play. To I can't wait to watch them play and fumble the Kimba Walker bag just like they fumbled the Kyrie Irving bag. I think, I mean, I think Kyrie, Kyrie wanted to go. Kyrie, they yeah. had 87 first round picks and they fumbled the bag on that. You can't tell me you don't know that Jason Tatum should be the best player on the team. Give him the ball. You can't build a team around that dude. You can't I build a team around the, Kyrie. The mistake was it wasn't so much because it's the NBA, so much how much they paid Gordon Hayward. It was when he came <laughs> back to put him in the star line. Yeah. Bro, hold on. It was the fact that they signed him to begin with. But that's the you? NBA. That's the, they're signing people. They're I mean, he's not bad. Bro, yeah, I mean, he's a good player. He's more made nineteen million dollars. Nah, what? It's, it's, it's the look. look. <laughs> I'm talking about their roster. You can't have eighty seven wings on your team. You yeah, draft. They have a ton of wings. You yeah, drafted JB, yeah. who is a goon. Who's a who's a beast? You yeah, got Tatum. You got Rozier. You got Smart. You had goons. If yeah. you think that they're gonna take a back seat to Gordon Hayward, you are smoking. <laughs> what did he do? He was a good player on a bad team. I'm not, look. He's not, a good player. I'm not taking shots. Yeah, they were I'm, bad. Yeah, I'm, that was, that was they pretty were solid, bad. yeah. Were they better than, were they better it, than Donovan Mitchell led um, Utah Jazz? Are they more respectable now? Yes. But what was it a player? Yes. But was it a True. player's thing? He, he, he got yes. a good statement, yeah. He got a good yes. But was it a player's thing or was it a coaching thing? Look, I'm, not, I'm just Because saying. I feel like. I feel like he gets a lot more credit than he should, too. Brad oh, Brad Stevens definitely does. He was a genius. He was a genius. They, uh, and Danny Ainge was a genius when he was accumulating all those first round picks. Yeah, but, and here's the thing I'm everything. Not, but, he'll say, but he'll tell you he, at, he, he failed with this team. But at that level, at the NBA level, even if the, everything is not about X's and O's, sometimes it's more about like Phil Jackson. It's about the mental aspect and being able to get people to, to the chemistry. Buy in. Buy in. And, and buy in. And bro, it's buy not in. always about yeah, the Coach analytics. Coach like, Coach White told us, you know, he spends a. He's, where he is in his career, he's able to spend time with people that most of us can't. And he yeah. says he, he's talked to people that say, once you get to December, January, they're not practicing. Right. They're yeah. Going through stuff. So. Yeah. Just, it's a walk. Yeah. So you, you're right. I'm not, and I'm not saying, and I'm not saying he's not a good coach, but I'm saying sometimes it's more about you know building those relations, that chemistry, who's on the floor at the right time, and and sometimes like. There you go. Let's Mike. say, let's say, there friends, you go. let's say, That's what I'm talking about. let's say Doc Rivers or Phil Jackson was coaching. They that win same a championship, team. bro. They win a championship. They come out of the East if Doc Rivers is the coach. You got I get, goons. As much as I get Al Horford, he held that team together. I mean, they had, a good, they, had a, they had a championship he really level he really team. Did. Look, really Danny did. Ainge made a mistake because you never went and got rim protection. You tried to – Aaron Baines? Word. So was that the mistake or was the second mistake not realizing I can fix this and change it at the trade deadline? The, uh, he's had a well, million tried. They tried to get Anthony Davis. Had, yeah. All right, but there's more than just Anthony Davis. Bro, here's the thing, too, and that was that was ridiculous to me, too, to think that you're getting Anthony Davis. You <laughs> haven't been loyal to a basketball player since you got there. Anthony Davis will have to have the worst agent in the, yeah. in the world Which he to allow he him to the go. Best one. <laughs> you, <laughs> he has the best one. You used the Isaiah Thomas, and everybody <laughs> saw it, that yeah. you destroyed his body the best season uh, that he could have sat out and got paid. Hey, yo, he man. came back and played for you because he thought you were going to be loyal, loyal, and you weren't. You weren't loyal to KG and Paul Pierce. You didn't let them go out on their own time. You got rid of them. He ain't been loyal to nobody. And to think that, oh, because now I got the genius tag, that now you're going to get Anthony Davis. Anthony Davis is coming from New Orleans, coming from a management staff that he can't trust. Mm -hmm. To think that he's going to go to Boston? Austin, you're yeah. nuts. Man, you smoking, bro. We knew I, where I, he was going. 100%. Yeah. Oh, 100%. Yeah. I would have never let my client go there neither. To me, Jan Danny, Ange look, I'm glad you're feeling better. There was only one place he belonged. I'm glad you're healthy. <laughs> There's only one place he belonged. <laughs> this fool's gold, dog. In Hollywood. There's only I, one place. But I, I will say this. I think this is the most excitement. People have had for the NBA. Yeah, yeah it is. In, in a while. Like, you talk about how the West is the game is right. Like, as much as I, I love to watch Golden State play. Yeah. But you knew what the end goal was going to be. Like, to 100%. me, I felt like, okay, 
KD and Clay got hurt, so this we knew what time it was. Yeah. yeah, that was it. Other than that, I was like, oh, they still getting it. Hey, bro, I, I don't was, know who's coming. As much as I think the Clippers improved, the Lakers improved, Portland, Utah improved, Jazz, Utah's yeah. improved. Yeah, uh, Houston's yeah. like, I don't know who's Houston, coming out there. Houston, that Houston wish, is yeah. going to be it's it's gonna gonna be tough. Tough. It's going to be tough. Look, yeah. my favorite, and I said this last year too, my favorite league pass team was the New Jersey Nets. I've been screaming about Spencer Dinwiddie for a long you have, time. You have. You've you been. You. Yeah, uh, he getting it done. He getting it. Action. They getting it done over there, man. Yeah. And now you got Kyrie to go with a bigger guard that can guard people, that can set Kyrie up, so he ain't gotta be eighty-seven dribbles on the right wing all the time. Step off, <laughs> jump shot, fade away. And like you get to watch Kent Bazemore some more. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? Kent Bazemore gonna be good for this team. He's Dr- gonna feel in good for this team. And you got young pieces. Who's that dude you used to talk about all the time last year about the Brooklyn Nets? Spencer Dinwiddie, yeah. Harris LeVert. He's talking about all. Yeah, he he do all of them. Spencer Dinwiddie, my dude. Yeah, LeVert. Yeah, yeah. That, that was my. Hey, I'm telling. That was my favorite league pass team. Them dudes was in a lot of games that you wouldn't think that they would be in, and it wasn't just. Yeah. Uh, you we ain't got like the next night. Right. They was in them games. You, like De- you ain't like D'Angelo. Oh yeah, I like the. I mean, D'Angelo from Louisville, Dawson. You know what I'm saying? I like D'Angelo. You know I'm yeah. mad when they got him. Yeah, I got when I like traded him, I was mad. I just can't wait to see the excitement. Hey man, Cam. Hawks gonna be fun to watch. Yeah. Cam, oh Cam, <laughs> <laughs> Cam. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. hey man, I can't. I, I I like the Hawks. I wanna. I've been trying to be an Atlanta fan at something for a long time, and it just ain't. It just ain't happened. If you would have drafted Colin Sexton, then maybe I'd have been an Atlanta Hawks fan Ooh. already. But you didn't get Colin. Here, so here, here, here we go. Here we go. Hey, here bang, we bang, go. Bang, bang. Ooh. Bang, bang. Um, but no, I'm ready to see Cam. They are offensively, yes. yes. Uh, and, I mean, they gotta play defense better. They gotta. They gotta he's drafting the right. They're right, drafting, drafting the right pieces. They're going the right direction. Yeah. They're, they're a free agent or two away. Can they get? This is the. They should be able to get a free agent. They yeah, they, they got to improve upon what they did this past. You talking about Trey Young, John Collins, White Mamba, Herder, Cam and that, Reddish, that was, I was and so Cam wrong. Reddish. Cam Reddish. I, was so wrong I kept saying the I White so Mamba, wrong. the White Mamba. Oh, no. <laughs> I kept saying that. He came from Maryland. He's a terrapin. So here we go. We should have known. Here we go. <laughs> Anybody <laughs> he had never said it. Here we go. I mean, he's a Maryland terrapin. I mean, come on. Bryce got mumbo sauce falling right now. Here we go. Just saying. No, you're right. You're right. He can hoop. He can hoop. Kevin Herter can hoop. I, I do want to see those guys play. Man, there's a lot of teams up and down the East I want to see play. Like Milwaukee. It might. This is it. Uh, to me, that's who I. And that's you made a mistake. Got, that's who I got coming out the east. And you made a mistake. This is it. Yeah, you made him. Can't get out the east this time. Yeah, they got rid of. Hey, you got rid of Malcolm Brogdon. Mm. You couldn't. Ooh. You couldn't get it done. You got to be willing to yeah. go into luxury tax when you get yeah. a player that you draft. You got to keep him. You got to go into the tax and go do it when you got a chance to come out of the east well, and win. They just go get though. They just went and got somebody. I don't know. It ain't enough. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, <laughs> but look. Fam, no. If if you don't get it done, you got two years to get it done, mm-hmm. right? KD is out this year. Next year, he's going to be coming back off of his injury, so he may not necessarily be KD 100%. The Hawks offensively is going to be right there on your tail, right? We're going to see what the Cavs combo end up doing. You got to believe that at some point they're going to get rid of – The Cavs aren't ready yet. No, the Cavs. I, so and I still don't understand why another, they drafted I another point I guard. I do not believe in the cast. So it wasn't that, it's not him though. But that's what I'm saying. I'm working on an assumption that Kevin Love is not staying. That they're going to do something with that contract, and they're going to find a place for. They're going to play Darius Garland and with, Colin at the yeah. same time. Like, how's that going to work? I don't see it. I don't see that work. I mean, they're the same. Bro, uh, I have no answer. That's perfect. <laughs> Look, I may be the only Colin Sexton fan that wants to go to Cleveland and watch those games. No, I don't yeah, know. And I are. hate their owner. He's the worst owner in all of sport. I mean, they, would you rather be Detroit? Detroit. Detroit. Seventh AC Perkins. No, I'd rather, I'd rather be Cleveland. Than Detroit? Exactly. I'd, I'd, rather, I'd rather be Cleveland over Detroit. 100%. As far as a free agency landing spot? Yeah, no, but I mean, hold on. Period. I'm going to pay Blake Griffin. He's my best player. Like, no, like I'd rather build around Colin. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. I'd rather build around Colin. Don't, I, yeah. 100%. Yeah. I mean, Derrick Rose is coming. I love D. Rose, but yeah. I don't Come know. on, man. We uh, still on that, D. Rose? Yeah. <laughs> hey, I'm not going there with you, Bryce. I'm not he going there with you, Bryce. Right? He did. Gross. I thought he did good. I, um, I mean, never mind. I, I'm, 
I'm not messing with you, Bryce. Uh, so look, we got Boston, Toronto on Christmas Day. We got Milwaukee and Philadelphia, Houston, Golden State, uh, Clippers, Lakers, New Orleans, Denver. Um, I'm sorry. I know Denver people think nasty. I know people think that Loaded. this New Orleans Denver game is going to be interesting. It's not. New Orleans going to get <laughs> smoked. <laughs> New Orleans is going to get smoked. Denver You're going to lose by thirty. Denver scary. <laughs> You're gonna, oh, nobody yeah, they lose by thirty. You're going to lose by thirty on Christmas. You're going to lose 20. by thirty. I've seen some teams get twenty points on Christmas. 20, not, not, yeah. not, not that. It's it's 30, too many possessions. Yeah. When, hey, when we subbing? Because <laughs> Denver is going to roll. Them. Denver's a problem. Real deal. Yeah, best, real problem. Real, real deal. Five Hey man, that? somebody blow a horn. We gotta tell we got we gotta tell Huff to pump his brakes real quick. Somebody blow a horn. Who are you talking about? The big man in Denver? Joker. The um, Joker. Yeah, the Joker. Joker. Better than Anthony Davis though? Hey man, come on, man. That's you, I, hey, you hope you reach it. He can't wow. hoop. Man. He can't <laughs> hoop. He can't <laughs> hoop. But I'm blowing the horn on that one, bro. Right. He can hoop though. You're reaching I today, do. I, I, I rock with dude. He can hoop. He can hoop. I do. Okay. I really do. I rock with. Check him. them stats. <laughs> Anthony, wow. I rock with bro too. Denver, hey, Denver is gonna be like. We got to send one of the teams from the West to the East, bro. It's too, mm-hmm. <laughs> it's too, you're going to have a team and that can really play, not make the playoffs. The the best 16, 16 teams. Off. Yeah, <laughs> give us the best 16 because you, you think in the West, you're going to have Golden State, Denver, Portland, Clippers, Lakers, Clippers, Lakers Houston, <sighs> Ooh, some, Utah. Stay on the East. Somebody that can hoop. <laughs> somebody that can hoop is not gonna make the playoffs. Somebody that can hoop is not gonna make the playoffs. Um, but more NBA. Bryce Homeboy still doesn't have a contract. Who? Bryce, were y'all hanging out last night? Do y'all have who? Mello. Your homeboy uh, Mello. It's, it's <laughs> Your homeboy from the DMV. Hey. Why are we talking Hold about on. it? Your homeboy from the DMV still it's doesn't o- have a deal. It's Mello, man. It's time to go play the big three. I, I, yep. I didn't. Wow. No, 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 no. Don't wow. do that. Don't do that. Wow. Don't do that, bro. Wow. Melo's going Melo's gonna to be too big of a distraction. First of all, I didn't feel bad at first for Melo, but now I kind of do because it's like he could. I, I do too. He should be on he the He should team. be in the league. Why are we feeling bad I don't feel bad though. because he's like. No, I don't feel bad about no million. Bad, bad, but, but, like, I don't feel bad. Nah, I feel bad. I feel bad about Sebastian, but. I'm going to say. He should. He didn't. Paul George. I feel bad for that either. I'm gonna feel. But he should. It's Melo's fault. It is because Melo can't guard anybody. But he doesn't know his role. But I still feel like he could be on somebody. Melo is still 18 and eight in the league, and he might be off the bench. Vinny Johnson, microwave. Well, that's fine. How do you know he doesn't like accept that at this point, though? Bro, did you see him? I don't know that he play? does. I don't know that he does. I, I remember the last. I feel bad for him, though. Now he'll tell you, though. No, I, I said I, I wouldn't. I didn't have to start. Yeah, I don't know. If, I don't so know. He, if that's so what you saying is it he could needs be fake news. And, and he's a four man. It could be fake news. And he's a four man. It mm. could be fake news. Yeah. Uh, um, something else that was unexpected outside of the mellow thing. Uh. Damian Lillard versus Marvin Bagley, and surprisingly, Marvin Bagley got bars, bro. Hey, he got bars. Yeah. Marvin Bagley got bars. I don't like your rap name, though. I really Are don't. Are talking like Allen Iverson bars? No, 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 bars? no, no, no. Hey, and that's good that he, you brought that he up. Has, he has battle bars. y'all wouldn't be – look. NBA players, I got you. I, you got to make sure you – hey, bro. Kobe Bryant. If boy? you're in the league no, right now – I remember that video. It, it, I remember that. I remember co- that. Oh, that was so awful, bro. That Kobe – Deion Sanders? Kobe was uh, – Hey. <laughs> hey, <laughs> Prime time. Look. Let's beat him right. If you in the Let's league right now, right though, now. and you got bar- – Damian Lillard does – who had a good album. I, I listened to his album multiple times. Had a pretty good album. Not – I mean, not – I can't listen to that. Great, but it <laughs> – <laughs> I can't listen to his that. His album was – I thought his album was all right. You can't even rock with Jeezy the same way, but you – Nah, but that's not what I said, no, bro. No, I said – I'm talking about – I'm not you. I'm talking about Andre. He's talking about – no, it's not the same Jesus, but he, it, he the isn't Lillard the out. same Jesus. It's not the same Jesus. I did like so. Look on the first five songs of Jeezy, I was rocking. Yeah, the, the first, first five, five songs. Yeah. Once you get down into the album, see, <laughs> Damian Lillard was smart. Damian kept his his album at like eight songs. Yeah, that's you know how you got to do it. 
It was all, but I will say this though, Damien Lillard, bro. It's only so many times I can hear you talk about them flyouts, bro. Come on, <laughs> like Damien was on the album, tricking it off, bro. That dude was spinning, like talking about shopping trips and flights and like. Must be the money, he, Hey, he was spinning. Money. He was spinning. Hey, bro, I, look. Hey, if y'all looking, Damien spending. Hmm. <laughs> Damien was talking about going on vacation. They hit them DMs up right now. But uh, <laughs> Marvin Bagley need to change his rap name, bro. Like your name is Dreams with a J. It's spelled with a J. I ain't know that. Yeah, yeah, it's not good. You should have stuck with the freestyle. Come up with another rap name. I must be the oldest. And then, I'm not listening to from y'all album, <laughs> look, every rapper that from y'all album sells, Dame Lillard and Marvin Beck, go send Allen Iverson a check because he was the first one. Not the first one because Shaq actually was doing platinum albums, but the first one that uh, Allen Iverson was the first one that gave us street bars from the NBA. Yeah. And they went crazy. Allen said the N word two times. Yeah. Cussed a couple times, talk, had some gunshots in the background, and everybody lost their mind. <laughs> Went nuts talking about getting him out of the league. Oh, he did like. I don't know. I was challenge so much. I'm just thinking. Hundred percent practice. How you dress? How you dress. dress <laughs> yeah. Like, Allen Iverson was our MJ. Gave kids braids. Was it? Hey, was yeah. it? I even thought about having cornrows yeah. and everything. Look, Allen Iverson still has the best sneaker commercial of all Ever. time, and it was hip hop. Yeah, yeah, with Jada Kiss. Jada Kiss. Yeah. Hip hop. Like he brought rap. His commercials were to the league. His commercials. So were his commercials yeah. better than Nike commercial with the beats. Yeah, I think. 100%. I think Allen Iverson has Allen Iverson the best commercial. Allen Iverson had the best basketball. I don't know. Because in the commercial, because AI was giving you the crossover too. Like True. he was like breaking but it down. How you do it? When like, that Nike, when that Nike, when that Nike commercial came out with those beats, it was nothing like that at that time. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah, that was nice. yeah that's yeah, that's must be the shoes. Yeah. That was must good. be the shoes. That was good. That was good. Like, Lil nah, that was hey, Lil Penny was fire. Uh, Lil Penny was fire. Lil, 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 Lil Penny was fire. I still love the Kobe Bryant commercial when he put the ball through his um legs like this. That's hey. one of my favorite commercials. Speaking of the Lil Penny joint though, a hey, real quick shout out before we move on. Hey kids, Penny Hardaway was real. Penny Hardaway was real. Like, hey, this dude is going at MJ. What's going on? I gotta watch real. Like, hey, Drake, Penny Hardaway was Drake, real. They know that. You see all the kids Penny getting. Yeah, they loaded. <laughs> they know that. They loaded. They know. They PSA. wear the shoes. They loaded. Oh, they wait, know. PSA announcement. Penny Hardaway. We would love for you to come to the Georgia Minority Culture. One hundred. <laughs> pull up. We need you here. I'm calling out. I'm what, pulling up. What the little kids say? I'm pull up on me. You gotta we pull got up. We got a spot for I'm you already. Up. We waiting on you, Penny. One hundred. Hey, listen. Um. So. Who did you think had the better disc, though? Bagley or Dame? Dame Dollar, man. <laughs> I got to give it to Dame, too. Yeah, you know. Bagley had a good disc, though. Yeah, Bagley we do, had bars. Yeah. Me and you are better rap fans. So we know, we look at bars different 100%. than anybody else. 100%. And stuff. Battle rap, hey, but, but, battle rap fans? Yeah. Battle rap fans? Where'd that I, come from? Y'all, you know it's it's come called you already. It's, 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 you know, it's secret society, dog. Society, all we man. ask is trust. You know what I'm saying? Y'all like yeah. secret watch society. Watch 8 Mile and stuff. No, nah, you know, it, 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 it's something called you already. Secret society. It's called. Hey, where hey, that, hey, I'm just saying. Go, never heard that. Hey. After you finish with the show. Hey. After y'all finish with the show, kids, go go on URL TV. And look up Charlie Clips and and and. Matter of fact, do y'all watch Wild and Out? Of course. All right. So Hitman Holler. Um, conceded. <laughs> them guys are battle rap. Battle rap dudes. Yeah. I don't, okay. Yeah, I but now nah, if you listen to those guys before they got to wilding out and just hear yeah, some right. of the bars, yeah. So, so, so basically, you saying Ti killed the flip's career? Oh yeah, he that's did. Awesome, man. Yeah. Game uh, over. Flip. He did. Yeah, he did yeah. though. Ended it. Ended it. What about Jay Z versus Nas? So I disagree. Ooh, that was tough. People say that ether. people say that's what I'm saying. That people ether. say the ether wasn't was that good. That ether, that ether, ether different. Ever, but Jay Z, the song was tough. But you did, Jay Z really did speak truth. Jay Z did him dirty though. Yeah, he came, yeah. Back. he came back. Um, that brings us. We got to get to a quick break. But coming up next, we gotta actually talk about Jay Z. But first, we gonna give you some uh, football tips. With our man Hassan, anybody like fantasy football? We got time for foot or time to football with Hassan Khan. Time to football with Hassan Khan, and we'll come back talking about uh, Jay Z, the NFL, and then we're gonna get into our player breakdowns from the freshman U camp. Yes, Y'all sir. Keep a lot with us, and we'll be back.
Wow. Welcome, everyone, to Halftime with Hassan. My name is, you guessed it, Hassan. Last name is Khan. It rhymes. But enough about me. Let's talk about you and how we can help you with your fantasy football draft and help you win your league. So the next time you walk down the street and someone yells out, hey champ, only one head's going to turn. Yours. We're going to give you a few tips on how to draft in fantasy football, starting with tip number one, the most important fantasy football draft tip. Do not draft a quarterback early. I cannot stress this enough. I understand that Aaron Rodgers is a bad man and nothing is more beautiful than Patrick Mahomes and his Kermit the Frog voice. Just kidding. Nothing's more beautiful than Patrick Mahomes and his no look passes. But you've got to understand those players are going in the second, third, and fourth rounds. And in those rounds, you can draft quality running backs and receivers. The quarterback position is really deep that you can wait until probably the 10th, 11th, 12th rounds to draft your franchise quarterback. You're going to see other people in your league drafting quarterbacks early. Don't fall for it. Don't fall for that trend. Wait on quarterbacks. So that for tip number two... back it's the love of the game podcast i'm your host my Allen. we are back uh i hope y'all fantasy football team is is straight and locked in and y'all use those tips from hassan kanda i hope you didn't draft andrew luck ouch Ooh. <laughs> just being real like that's tough somebody hey bro that video. hey bro wa- hey bro walked out like oliver mccall walked out that fight bro that's tough. <laughs> to say at 29 you know what? I'm out. Bro, I'm paid. Forget this. <laughs> y'all, yeah. and, and I'm with the staff. y'all follow me long enough. <laughs> y'all follow me long enough on Twitter. Y'all know I don't rock with the NFL anyway. Andrew Luck, get your bag, especially from <laughs> yeah. that from that trash bag owner that you play for. Get your bag <laughs> and get out of there. Hey, bro, they call. I'm not even gonna go there. I, talk to me offline about it. the owner wow. of the Colts. I ain't gonna go there. But um, with the NFL, the big topic has been our boy Jay Z. Um. Jay-Z signed a deal with the NFL where no true details of the deal have been given, but it's a lot of speculation. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to go by what was announced. Yeah. What was announced was that he had an entertainment deal with the NFL, that he would essentially be, or alluded to the fact that he's going to be in charge of, like, the halftime entertainment for the Super Bowl and that type of stuff. That was what was alluded to. The internet erupted. Everything from calling Jay-Z, all kind of stuff, uh, to say that he sold out, to say that, you know, he disrespected Colin Kaepernick, all that kind of stuff. I'll open it up to y'all, fellas. What do y'all think? I I just think everybody has jumped to a conclusion. Yeah, that's what I think. Too soon. Yeah. What this is. I have my personal opinion. It's too soon. And I could be wrong that says there is something coming down the pipeline that none of, or it was already set up that we don't know. Yep. And but I, I feel, see the other side of it too. And I feel, how did he disrespect Kaepernick? Didn't Kaepernick get paid? He did. He did. <laughs> so that's my thing. I look at Jay, what Jay Z's doing and Colin Kaepernick is two different things. Number mm-hmm. one, Colin Kaepernick took a settlement yeah. from the NFL. He got paid. We we don't know what the details of that settlement was. We probably will never know oh, yeah. what the details of that settlement um, are. And it, it's probably the reason why Colin Kaepernick will never play in the NFL again because he took the money. Took the money, yeah. That's so how I look at it. That, that's It's just never going to happen. I'll stop holding out hope for him to play in the NFL. Why don't people keep tweeting or saying – some, shouldn't some team pick up Colin Kaepernick? They're never going to pick him up. He took a settlement. He had a case yeah, like, I mean, that mean? he was going to win – because we all know when we watch some of these bums play on Sunday that Colin Kaepernick was good enough to play in the NFL. Like, don't make me start calling people by name. And I haven't even watched the NFL in the last three, four years. 
A bum? Go go to the Dallas Cowboys roster. Everybody after Dak Prescott is a bum. Oh. Ooh. Oh. I'm sorry. Is Eli Manning more than a bum? Ooh. He's a bum. I was like, I mean, come. Gunshot. I'm just saying, let's not. Okay, who's the backup for the Atlanta, Atlanta um, Falcons right now? Who knows? <laughs> Thank you. Wow. Enough said. Let's wow. not. I mean, come on. Who's the backup? Uh, I mean, it, wow. it's not the dude like Kobe Brissett or somebody. Uh, uh, Jacoby Jacoby, Brissett. Uh, yeah. for the for the Colts. Yeah. Yeah. We're gonna say he's better than Colin Kaepernick. Man, come on. Let's just stop playing. I understand, but Colin Kaepernick made his decision. He made a decision. He took right. his money. Right. Now, to me, the Jay Z thing is a separate thing. That doesn't mean that I'm I'm common pleas for Jay Z. I'm actually taking shots. And here's my reason why, right? Jay-Z himself said, I'm not a businessman. I'm a business man, man. right? Oh, so I'm going to stop you right there. If he's a business 100%. man, do you not think he's trying to parlay this into something else? He's got to be. can help the cause. P. Diddy tried to buy a team. He couldn't. He couldn't. We know how much money Diddy got. Yeah. I feel like Jay-Z it, playing chess and everybody else still playing chess. Here, I'm, with you. I'm not giving him the benefit of the doubt there. What I'm going to say is that he is a businessman that has to show value to shareholders. And he is doing what's best for Rock Nation. He may not be doing what's best for us. And that's what happens in a capitalistic country. Mm. I'm sorry. Um, a Chick-fil-A's response to Black Lives Matter was Blue Lives Matter. Who cares about the people getting killed in the street? We have to show value to shareholders at times. And I understand that, that businesses have to do things that are, are, are we can look at as the people as morally bankrupt or morally corrupt that are great business moves. We, we applaud people who are shrewd business owners at times in this country mm -hmm. because we have a capitalistic country. It's driven by money. What he did may have been the best thing for Rock Nation, and I'm not doubting that. If it was a great business move, it's going to help the people, the employees who work for Rock Nation. It's going to help their families. It's going to help everybody he touches by doing that business move. I'm just not, I'm not saying that he is doing something that's morally corrupt, but I'm not saying he's not either. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to automatically, because he's Jay-Z, give him the benefit of the doubt um, right. And I'm I especially have no, I have I zero, zero. Listen to me. Look at me. Less than zero hope of Jay Z being a majority owner in the NFL. And here's why. Go look at the rest of their owners. Go look at what type of people that they are. Just Google it. Go Google the owner of the Indianapolis Colts and look what type of man that is. And if Jay Z. Is that type of guy where he's in that fraternity with him? Then I don't rock with him anyway. I'm sorry. That's just me. He but, got don't you, but don't you have to put yourself to change things? You got to put yourself and become uncomfortable. That's the only way change happens is to be uncomfortable. And the only way we're going to make a change happen in the NFL is that somebody's got to become a majority owner. Yeah. I, I, if we want to see an improved NFL – then I would say yes. I'm one of those people who don't necessarily care to see an improved NFL. Right. Who cares? I would rather us do our own. Why? Why Why do we have to be accepted by the NFL? Why? There are other leagues out there. There are leagues, uh, um, and I can't remember the name of it, but there's a league out there where guys are playing football right now where their whole thing is to value the actual bodies of the people who are playing the league and try to make the sport safer. Um, but I can, I, but I can flip I don't that. Need, but I can flip that and say it's the same reason why the top twenty in the nation don't go to HBCUs, which I think they should. I, too, I, but, I mean, I, I've they been should, on, That's but, a bandwagon but, I've been on for a long time as well. I could go, you know, a million different reasons about why I feel like, hey, the the Division One schools that are here, right? If our resources go, if the best go to those schools, then the money comes with us. I'm sorry, we don't need Coach K and Duke. Why? And I'm not shooting at Coach K. I no doubt I'm not knocking the Duke program. I'm not knocking. I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna make it personal. I'm from Louisville, Kentucky. I understand what it means that Adolph Rupp's name is on the side of their building, and we still send our kids there. Are you kidding me? He's a bigot. We still send our kids there to go play at the University of Kentucky. And I use that as an example. It's not about the rivalry. It's about the name on the side of that building. You take the name off, then maybe I'll go. 
Mm. I'm sorry. I'm not sending my kid to Ole Miss. You can recruit my oh. son all you want. We're oh, not yeah. coming. We ain't dealing with that Ole Miss. We're not coming. <laughs> oh, we ain't dealing with that. We're not, I'm just saying that's me. That The thoughts and, 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 and speech of Mondre Allen belong to Mondre Allen. Full government. Come see me on Twitter if you don't like it. We're not going to Ole Miss. So are you speaking hypothetically? And I love their assistant coach. Are you speaking hypothetically? What if the ones only offer? We're not going. At some point. You have either you're gonna stand for something or you're right. gonna accept anything. Yeah. Yeah. We're not. I, I look, and I'm gonna say that. And I'm gonna say that when their assistant, I love that man, stays in our backyard recruiting our kids. Ronnie Hamilton. Ronnie Hamilton. Hamilton. Oh, I yeah. love that dude. A whole bunch of respect that dude. I don't respect university and I don't respect the head coach. We're not coming. And if enough of us take a stance, I feel the same way about Clemson's head football coach. I'm sorry if you're gonna force people to 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 forego their right to protest because you believe because of what you believe i'm sorry you work at a at a at an institution of higher learning you're supposed to be part of the educational process but you're gonna say what your players are gonna we're not gonna there will be no kneeling around here okay well sir there will be no recruits around yeah. here you can build whatever swim pools you want at clemson we wouldn't be coming yeah and you know what's funny with that andre um maybe this summer or last summer a coach missed out on a recruit because the mom asked him, do you know why um, Kaepernick is um, kneeling down? The coach couldn't answer that the question. That was on my team, right? Yeah. Georgia King. That's all. Yeah. Hey, look, man. And, and he, 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 didn't, he, didn't he didn't go he there. He did not go there. He didn't go there just because the mom, you know, the coach didn't know why Colin mm -hmm. Kaepernick was kneeling down. I'm going to say this, bro. I wouldn't even be a person that would kneel during the anthem, Right. That's mm. not my chosen way to protest. I just mm. believe in the right for people to do it. Yeah. I wouldn't necessarily do it. Yeah. My way to protest was just to stop watching the NFL. And, and, and I stopped watching the NFL, stopped participating in fantasy football long before Colin ever kneeled. Mm -hmm. My issue was how they treated women. True. Yeah. If you look at them after all the issues that they had with women and they put together this all-woman council that was supposed to bring change in the NFL, the only thing they did was start holding flag football clinics for women. Have we even heard from any of those women since then? So why do we think that they're going to treat Jay-Z any yeah, different? He really is. He really is. He really is. He I don't really know is. that they're going to treat him any he different. Really he is. made a great business move. He talked some other guys out of taking the same deal that he took, and yeah. he made his company money. I applaud him. We live in that type of society where money rules. Most definitely. Okay? Cool. But it doesn't mean that I have to give you the benefit of the doubt for doing something else when we have no details of that deal. Right? I wouldn't, I wouldn't take necessarily be taking shots at Jay-Z. I'm just saying, hey, bro, that's not the crowd I want you running with. Oh, yeah. I got pictures on my phone right now. Jerry Jones with his pants down with two women that – Come on, man. I could, we could go and dig on any of these NFL Allegedly. owners. Allegedly. Yeah. Have been, no, 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 that picture is there. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Like, like Jim Ertz like, pulled over by the police with, with cocaine, with like $75,000 in cash, and a bunch yeah. of prescription pills that didn't belong to him. And, and that's the type of group of people yeah. that you want to be a part of? You want to be associated with them? Didn't the, NFL, didn't the NBA get rid of Donald Sterling? They did. They did. They did. Fam, like... Get if we're going to change, yeah. right? If we're going to change, then yeah, don't make don't create a new team for Jay-Z. Kick out one of these scumbags and give that team to Jay-Z. Then mm -hmm. the NFL, you can show me what type of league that you're trying to be. Then maybe I'll watch. I got you. Get it off your chest, Mondre. Get it off your chest, man. Get it off your chest. Listen, that, that, that's, that's just me, bro. Again, yeah. not shooting at Jay-Z. Let's talk about I, I really talk about these kids, man. Let's talk about something <laughs> like, This NFL stuff, man. Um Locks way the only way. Locks way the, the only, only way. way. Hey. Hey. Uh a lot of kids were were did an amazing job. I just want to say this real quick. Before we get into talking about kids specifically, right? I wanna say that. It was a lot of kids really it playing hard. It was. Good, solid, fundamental basketball. And I, I enjoy watching. That says a lot because you're talking about freshmen. Freshmen. Yeah, freshmen. Who haven't played a league of varsity. High school, high school minis, yo. Ninth grade JVO varsity. Watching Bryce and Zako's game, right? I saw possessions where there are three or four screens getting set. 
Mm. I saw guys playing help defense on Zako's team. Like I couldn't guys, go zero and two against him. I had to win. Man, <laughs> hey, he guess beat what? me last year. I you, couldn't go. Hey, guess what? Though? And you won on SUV. <laughs> <laughs> so we always he gonna drop. Hot. We always he gonna drop hot. that. We always I, gonna drop that. I just want kids to understand that people watch that type of stuff. And mm-hmm. real basketball people appreciate that type, that type of stuff. When you're on the weak side and I see you got a foot in a paint that you're ready to help guys, when you're not hugged up on your man and your man is 80 miles off the ball, like, like we appreciate good basketball. Maybe we got something changing here, fellas. Maybe. I said that. I said that during the telecast. And I'm not saying what's happened before has been bad, but we all have seen bad basketball. Price, oh, yeah, most definitely. Days. A lot of bad I basketball. know you see bad basketball. I mean, I see bad basketball all the time. Not you just see it in high school. Yeah, yeah. A lot all of bad day, every day. Seen. Yeah, I see it all the time. But I mean, that that go again. That goes back to the coaching staff and trying and trying to get the kids to at least move the ball a few times. But you know what I mean? Just not coming yeah. down and shooting one on five, one on five stuff like that. So. By the way, you see these notes he bringing out? <laughs> <laughs> you know yeah. what I'm saying? Hey, look, I had to double up, man. I got my phone. I got, I got <laughs> yeah. a notepad. I got. I, had yeah, to I was out paying computer, attention, man. But um, I let Lock kick it off, man. Let's talk about some of the top players or performers um, out of your camp. There were a lot. Yeah, man, it was a lot of kids, man. It was kids all across Georgia, not just the Atlanta area. I had kids coming from North Georgia. Um, you know, of course, Atlanta, um, South Georgia, Middle Georgia, and they basically came to represent, man. And like one of the top kids that was at the camp that you know everybody grew on was um, Taj Johnson from Hart County. He's gonna be mm. scary. Yes. Yeah, yes. Hart County keeps some dudes. Man. Yeah, they He's do. Gonna be a problem. And it's funny. I heard about this kid maybe once or twice, but I never seen him. Never seen him during A and U. Never seen him at any other camps. And he came in and walked in, and you could just tell by his demeanor, Yo, like I'm when feeling. He up. walked yeah. into my station. I was like, Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Like I'm about, to, I'm about to, so yeah, about to be, yeah. It's about, it, it about to go down today. He looked and, like a 17 year old kid. Yeah. I mean, not look, but I mean, like yeah. you could yeah. his confidence. Yeah, he had. He walked in. Like, I was like, Dude, okay. when DK from bring forward to six nine, sixteen kid, Ty hey, was going to get it. He was blocking it. Those ma- he was. Yeah. Those matchups and DK, like when you talk about those blocks that he had, DK ain't no ain't no six ten slouch. Like no, he was making no. good moves too. He was going to most get definitely, them. Most definitely. Most definitely. He was going he, to get them. He was one of the top kids that I like, man. And also, I love Pepperbrook. Like Coach me and Coach Washington built a great relationship. Ooh. And he's always sending he's kids to my camp. He always And he has another team. guard. Yeah. TJ Holmes. Yeah. Man. When, I, I think that says a lot about Coach Washington. Like, yeah. Every year. Do do. Guards, yeah. Every man, year at freshman year, he's had a so point guard. He has a point guard, didn't he? Yeah. yeah. We talk yeah. about this all the time. That's a reputation that he has. And if you're a parent. You see it. You see it. And say, you should he, see he, it. He develops He develops players, yeah. All day, 100%. every day. When you, see, when you playing against him, you see that back door coming? Oh, yeah, you know it's coming. You know it's coming. You know it's coming. 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 He driving it off all day. You can't stop it. Oh, yeah, you can't. You can't. I said that during the telecast that that I feel like George over at Pebble Brook, that their culture breeds those guards Mm -hmm. because they work so hard, They work, They They work, work, yeah. They work so hard. Like, those Pebble Brook guards. But they work the right way, too. Yeah. You have to know how to work the right way. You can work hard. For sure. Back to, you know, we had him on the show. Might have been maybe a year ago. Not yeah, 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 almost a, a year, year ago. ago. Yeah. yeah, he talked about where he started from. Hundred percent. How he built this program. Winning middle one school. One two games. Yep. Yeah, middle school. Middle school. First. Yeah. yeah, built it brick by brick. Got to respect. I it. think that, regardless of what you say, how many Collins of pro Jared has done this. Yeah, that still seeks. And you remember those days when people were kicking your tail. Hundred <laughs> percent. And I'm gonna say though, for that TJ Home kid, it's a lot of pressure that also comes with that. Yeah. Being a Pebble Brook guard. Pebble Brook guard. When yeah, you're the only Pebble Brook guard in the room and guys is watching you, you automatically getting getting compared to yeah. Colin, Jared, to Jared, Jared yeah. to Danny uh, Stubb, Danny Stubb yeah. to gonna, um, even um, Dre Young and, Dre, yeah. and, and, yeah. and Ty Hudson. Ty Hudson, yeah. 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 You getting compared to all of them dudes. Niles. Yeah, yeah. Niles, yeah. It's a lot of them. Before. Now, and yeah, it's a lot of them. He didn't disappoint. No, he didn't. He right there he, with them he, guys. Elias Harden. Yeah, 100%. 100%. Yeah. 100%. I would say Drew Drennan, but he was there for one year. He was there? Yeah, he was there. Yeah, he was there. He was there. Yeah, that's when we played in the 
<laughs> yeah. And he was hitting big shots. Yeah. No, he was. He did. He had a lot of big shots. He had a lot of big shots. Hey, we gotta say Messiah too, then. Messiah. Yeah, right. Messiah Campbell, right oh, now. Oh yeah. Um, DJ. Oh, yeah. We got a DJ. Man, it's, it's a lot of. Yeah, DJ it's right. a lot of people had a lot of guards. A lot of D one guards. A lot of guards. A lot of guards. Man, it's another group of kids, man. So you know what I try to do is get a lot of kids from each school. So Grayson always seen a group, a good type of kids. But Meadow Creek has some guys. They got some, they got some guys, Kill man. Us. And Kill you know us. they got came from a good program, Norcross Heat, man. We got um, Keyshawn Hamilton, the point guard. Yep. Um, Ed, Edward um, Hendricks and um, Dayton Richardson. Keyshawn's a Keyshawn was Keyshawn's shorty, a right? small little yeah. guard. Yeah, he he he, he stepped went, up. He nice. Yeah, he stepped up. What I liked he about nice. all of those uh, Meadow Creek kids, the trio, and especially the Hendricks kid, mm -hmm. of how hard he played. He did play hard. Like that, he played hard, bro. The one like on both ends. I don't. I, I know by number one one one. I think. Yep, that's him. Okay, yeah. so I yes. was Keyshawn. sitting. So I wasn't coaching his team, but I was sitting next to him, and this kid in a camp was like, play defense, let's go, lock up, work, own right. it, own it. Like, yo, this is a camp. And this dude, like, so, so, own it, so bro, we a camp. George Washington, I think you got to turn now and say that's that's an aspect of Coach G. Like, yeah, like, got to. Playing hard. Got to. Playing play hard, yeah. Defense, yeah. Defense, yeah. Talking, got talking, to. talking, yeah. Talking, way. yeah. Hey, now, we talking about freshmen, too. I, hey, I got to tip my captain's AAU program. I mean, they just had him for a whole spring. I don't know if he was like that when they got him, but he sure is like that now as yeah. well. We always talk about that relationship between AAU program and head head high school coach that has got to kind of be some type of uh, 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 synergy there between those Most two guys definitely. to get a kid to play. And I saw that kid finish at the basket on one end. The other team took it out and tried to pass ahead. And he He's got the back. chase down block on the yeah. other end. Yeah. Like, that definitely. kid was going at it. That Hendricks kid was going at it. Yeah. Man, it's another kid who I've been watching since the sixth grade, and he's actually part of your program, Bryce. Um, Cameron Pope yeah. from the Georgia Kane. I like him. Mm -hmm. He gets jiggy with it. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Cam in his he bag. Gets to it, man. Cam be in his bag. And I remember, I, I mean, it's funny because somebody sent me a tweet like two days ago that I tweeted on him like in the sixth grade. Wow. And just to see him in the ninth grade and – what he did yesterday, like he was one of the better guards there at camp. It's another and, Georgia King. And he's at what Cherokee County with Cherokee, Cherokee High School. High School. Yeah. Yeah. Cherokee High School. I'm waiting for him. Yeah. Another I'm Georgia wait, I'm waiting for him at 17 years. Yeah. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I saw him there. I'm just waiting. I feel nice. like he's going to play varsity minutes at Cherokee. I can see it. I can see it. Oh, yeah. And also, man, you know, we had kids coming from different states also. So we had a kid that I've always been watching for about a year now, Julius Clark. The light skinned kid with the bouncy hair yep. out of Alabama, man. Shout out to my guys out of Alabama, Rashad and Pierre Mays, man. They brought this kid. He might six he five. He played hard. He played hard. Yeah, six four, six five. You know his skill set getting better, but man, he played he was so hard. hard, and he yeah. played hard to be a light skin. <laughs> you don't know why. Yeah. Yeah. You don't believe in light skin. <laughs> what about what about Kyle Jones? Oh yeah, Kyle Jones uh, out of Creek side. Yep. Yeah. Hey, he did his thing too, man. He came to represent the Creek. No, he came to represent the Creek side for you, man. So TTP, man, he got. I see he put a video together already, man. That's so next time, man. Next time, man. He's watching right now. Probably. Next time, you tweet out some oh, stuff. Oh, you know. Hey, he go. Hopefully, uh, my mixtape comes yeah. soon. Next time, you, next time you tweet on something about my account, tag me. <laughs> I got to shout out a couple other guys too. What yeah. I saw this year. That you don't see always, especially just in a camp setting, period. Yeah. Not just at this camp. You saw some past first point guards you did. that was really getting busy and, and setting guys up. Like I made mention DeJuan to Allen. um Hey man, I let no, oh, Allen. Do one, hey. I told you he played pretty good. I played hey, I, so, I, I called Dre this morning and told him that. And he got and he got three or four steals in a row, yeah. which helped me. Be, win that game. Bunch, you know what I mean? Let's go back. What did I always tell you about this? What do you got to do? And he listens. What do you got to do? He's, He's coachable. coachable. Yeah, play that's a big thing. Can, can you please? What do you got to do, Bunch? Right? Got to play defense. Got to make shots when you open. Got to be a leader. Those are, those got to be a dog. Got to be a gotta dog. Be a he dog. was all, Yeah, he was locking so up. He was those things. You, I, hey, look. Look, man. We're talking I, about, we're talking about I love my guy. <laughs> I, I love my guy. I don't, I don't mention him a whole lot because – you know, being a part of an AAU program, the first thing people say anytime you say something good about your own kid is that, you know, all his daddy ball and all this. No, and that. No. But I will say this. Um, DeWan has not started for me more than he started for me. Mm -hmm. So he's been forced to be in a situation where he had to get it out the mud, mud. all yeah. the time. And, and dads listen. 
at some point you gotta stop coaching yourself. Hundred percent. Right around this, right around and eighth this grade. Is about grade. About the time. Time. Yeah. You know what I feel. This is about the time <laughs> yeah. that you should stop. And yeah. Because yeah. to me, you gotta be more dad at this point. Yeah, gotcha. they just need coach. a dad. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. Coach and yeah. Yeah. Hope people listen. <laughs> he's developing though, and he's working hard. Like you know, lot you guys letting him come to your camp uh, uh, as an eighth grader. Huff, you kind of pulling him to the side, talking to him. Like he talks about this stuff all the all time. time. Yeah. And, you know, up six a.m. at the gym before school, working. Like he's 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 grinding right now. So I'm proud. I'm proud. Yeah. Um, that's not why I brought that subject up. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I brought that subject up to show love to some other guys. Um, Davari Barthel. Yeah. Davari Barthel from Dutchtown. He had a good weekend. Man, he had a hey. good weekend. Hey, let's, let's hey I, I, I said it on SUV yesterday. I got Dutchtown winning five a state Listen, championship. I'm calling it. That kid and, and I don't know about the pick. I'm just gonna talk oh, about the kid. Whoa. Look, I can't say. I can't say that they're winning five a as Dude. early as Locke is saying it. Locke gonna make his prediction. Dude. I'm not saying he's wrong. I'm just saying I don't know yet. I made my prediction by exactly. Toronto. <laughs> <laughs> that, he, did. Yeah, he, did. Yeah. he did. He did. He did. Um, but I just want to call out the kid Davari. Like again, Pat being a pass first point guard, being unselfish at a camp, which is hard for a kid to do. But he was finding guys open. He was moving, making the right pass, making the pass ahead yeah. will make you look good, mm-hmm. even in a camp setting. City, yeah. Make the pass ahead, and he did that a lot of times. The other kid was uh, Christian Bacon mm. from um, from Cumberland. From Cumberland Christian. Cumberland yeah. Christian. You talking about a kid? Not a lot of flash in his game. Oh, yeah. But I'm going to get to the nail, right? I'm going to get to the elbow. I'm going to draw whoever, the, the big. I'm going to draw those guys out. And then, boom, I'm going to yeah. hit everybody. I'm going to make the pass. I'm going to make the yeah. get to the corner at the right time. I'm going to make the drop off pass to the bigs at the right time. And if you leave me open now. Yeah, man. Bang, I'm going to knock it down. I'm going to catch some Cumberland Christian games this year. They got a new coach. Yeah. I haven't put it out there yet. Hold on, what? Yo, yeah. Yeah, they got a new yeah. coach. They got a new coach. They, they got, got a new coach. coach. Come yeah, on, hug, coach. man. What? You need everybody to serve. They done lost a couple kids. Yeah. They done lost a couple kids. Yeah, so I'm going to build around game. Christian and Jelani. That's the other kid, I think. That's, um, that's over there. Yeah, that's yeah. over there. Yeah, Jelani. Yeah. He's pretty good count. But, man, it's one kid that really grew on me, and I would love him to be at church school. His name, Nathan. You know, I don't normally try to see <laughs> But, uh, disclaimer, uh, yeah, uh, those thoughts, yeah, those thoughts belong to Dante yeah, Matlock. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, Nathan Rodriguez, man, he's going to um North Paul and he play for North Metro Elite. He may be, <laughs> he's undersized. Head, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he was going to work though. Yeah, you know what I'm talking. Yeah. He's about six two, what six three? Nah, I don't know. He might don't be. Don't know why I won't go. He but he's big. He was going. Wait, when I say hug, he was setting screens, posting up. He was posting up, asking for the ball. Got a big body, nice footwork. And he was just finishing. Yeah. And I was like, dang, if he if he just get, you know, in the And the best, three on yeah. three, he probably he had like three or four buckets in a row. Like, he's calling for the ball. He's showing great footwork. When he's getting trapped in the post, he's kicking it out and resetting. And he's just a freshman. I was like, y'all don't see what this kid is doing? <laughs> yeah, so he was – yeah, he was a pretty good kid that I really – um. Enjoy watching. And also, um, noted one of your kids, um, Dre, Jason Head. Jackson Head. Jackson Head. I'm sorry. Jackson, Jackson, Jackson Head. That's the big, right? Yeah, that's the big. Yeah. yeah. My guy. My guy. I, I enjoy He plays hard. He doesn't back down from any Nothing. ID. Nothing. He's he taking wants it all to the you. Smoke. Jackson wants all the smoke at all times. That's why I love that kid. Fits in great with our, with our program because that's, I mean, that's what we're about. Like, we getting after it. And Jackson always does. You talking about a kid that did everything when needed for us, right? Mm-hmm. Need buckets inside, dump it down to Jackson, he's going to get him. We got rebound, he down there blocking out, fighting for it. Need a big time three, he's going to come walk into it and pull it up. Yeah. Like, he, that was a kid that, that – and here's the thing, Huff, that you would love about Jackson. He wants to be coached. Yeah. Mm. Only yeah. kid that I've ever coached that walked off the court on a timeout and said, Coach, when I'm messing up, man, you can get on me, man. Like, I, you know, tell me what I need to do. Like, he wants to be coached hard. Um, but he's one of those kids. Like, we talk about Bruce Thornton. He's a great football player. Mm. We're talking about a kid that's starting varsity at tight end as a freshman mm. for River Ridge right now. 
And you ask yourself with those kids, are they going to get put in a position where they have to choose Choice. between one yeah. and the other sport? I hope it doesn't happen. I think he could. He has a chance to be a Charlie Ward. Mm-hmm. Uh, not saying Heisman. I'm just saying that can go Division One at both. Um, but tremendous potential or, or as a basketball play, player and as a football. Basketball and football throughout his whole high school career. career. Yeah, for yeah. sure. I love, him. I love like, yeah. I had Will Leslie, who's at uh, East Tennessee State, you know, as a wide receiver for football, but shoot, he. You know what I'm top dudes. <laughs> you talking about a, a, a River Ridge team on a basketball court that's going to be highly improved. You got Brandon Harris coming over there. You got the Russo kid, the big yeah. six seven six eight kid over there, and, and Jared Russo, I believe his name is six eight. Six six seven six eight. I mean, but they're in six eight, right? I I think so. They they not in South High region, huh? That's a good question. They got a new coach though. I don't know. Hey, look, man. I, I don't. South Cobb is a battle tested six A team though, so that's I don't know that River Ridge. That yeah. good. That's a loaded. It's a loaded region, region for hey, sure. Loaded. Six A may be tougher than seven A. We said it last. Slick talking Mike. Yeah, six A. That's Tri City. That's Tri City. That's Tri City. Yeah, that's Langston. Hughes. Langston, New Manchester, all of them. That, hey. yeah, Ooh. that's tough. Uh, Brunswick. Yeah, six A is gonna be real. Yeah. I'm gonna end up talking about a couple kids too, man. I want to shout out. Uh, yeah, hey, Joseph Joseph Edwards. Yeah, I call him. Joseph Edwards can hoop. Uh, Ethan, Do- Ethan Davis Ethan. from Collins Hill had, had some yeah, good games. Yeah, he has a – man, if we, he gets we, tougher – We practiced with Collins Hill this summer. Mm-hmm. And I told Joe Dix, the head coach at Collins Hill, that kid got a chance. Mm-hmm. He got a chance. Yeah. yeah. I, I'm going to shout out a kid, too, that didn't score a whole lot of buckets, mm-hmm. didn't have the flashiest amount of game, but man, you talking about a kid that played extremely hard and made plays to try to help his team win? Chavez Omarion Milan out of Rockdown County. Mm, a yeah. developing big, you could tell the game still needs some work, but you didn't have to ask him to run the run floor. floor. Number was you he didn't eight? have to ask he him. Eight? He was 75. You didn't have to ask him to run the floor. You didn't have to ask him to try to rebound. You didn't have to ask him to try to defend the rim. He just tried, right? And it, not a kid that you see is like, oh, you can tell this kid trains with this guy, trains yeah, with train. that guy. He's just a kid. I'm going to get out here and I'm going to oh, play yeah. hard. Bryce, didn't you say them guys were arguing about who trainer? Who trains with who? Yeah, so they turn the game. Yeah, they Apparently, we got like yeah. a training East Coast, West, West Coast, Coast beach, yeah. Like, who you training yeah, with? Who? I train with this person. Who you yeah. training with? And the kid was like, I don't train with nobody. Yeah, I'm I like, just so, so sit down and be quiet. Yeah. I'm like, roll with them from right, right. right. Yeah. Nobody dancing in your, in your video. All in your videos. Wow. What's going oh, on yeah. over here, freshman? You can't. <laughs> man. man, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> this trainer, trainer got to relax. Um. Christian uh, Gravit out of Alexander High School. Yeah, he had a good one. Got to shout him yeah. out. Had a good one. Um, it's not my son's brother, is it? Yeah, the one yeah. is on. Um, wait, his son, his brother in the league. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. The league. Yeah. 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 yeah, that's him. Yeah. 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 Hey, Mari Jordan can hoop, bro. Yeah, also. Mari Jordan pretty can good. Hoop. He was pretty good. And uh, Noah Melson, got to shout him out. Hey, talking about pulling up from 40, which is shorty. No, <laughs> Noah Nelson was crossing half court, one two dribble launch, and that thing was going. Hey, look like BJ Boston. I'm gonna play like BJ Boston. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he was letting them go. But those are my kids, man. That I, I definitely want to get a shout out in. Yeah, that they played extremely well. So I couldn't do. I couldn't leave this podcast without shouting out the South Georgia, Middle Georgia kids. Uh, of course. Oh uh, yeah, you uh, already know, know, man. Here and, we go. And my dude, um, KD Johnson, man, he played. He plays for Play- Pelham. We are gonna get you up up out of there, man. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm calling. I'm calling it. Yeah. Transfer alert. Like, yeah. Hey, but man, my man, KD Johnson, good guard, man. He plays for um DCA Stacy. He had a good weekend. He played for um Zako team. He had a good little weekend. My kid, um. Jerry Randall Jr. He plays for Pelham. Got to get him out of there too, hopefully. <laughs> so that's another move. He had a good weekend. Man, it was a high jumping kid that I heard about. Man, his name is KJ Cochran. We didn't. I didn't see much of him like I wanted to. But when I walked in the gym, they was like, "Man, whoever kid you brought from South George, he can fly. He can fly." So that's another kid that I'm gonna be talking about so much this season. And also, um, Hartnett, man, out of Middle Georgia. That's the one that's gonna get Spivey. <laughs> Shout out to Marcus Spivey. Shout out to Spivey, man. Hey. 
But, man, his son played pretty good, man, Quentin Hartnett, man, out of middle Georgia. So, man, it's going to be a good crop of talent across the whole state. That I feel like a lot of freshmen are going to, um, you know, make some noises. Hey, man, we got a good question um, on Twitter, and I got to read this because they offer me lemon pepper wings. If you okay. want to know the key to a fat man's heart, offer me food, bro. <laughs> offer me food when you see me, bro. Um. Boy, we can't. They can't get them from Jr. Crickets. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't, they can't get them from Jr. Don't Crickets. We know Jr. Quick and Lemon Pepper no. Wings because they gonna throw eighty seven no, pounds of salt on them. It depends on which Jr. Crickets. <laughs> I got high the one downtown. The, the one by my, the one by me <laughs> and Bryce's house. Oh yeah, that's a spot. That's yeah. a spot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. South Atlanta, South Atlanta yeah. Road, not South Atlanta, Atlanta Road. Yeah. Hey, is any wing spot actually really good that has like a real name and all that? If it ain't a hole in wall spot that look like it might be kind of shady, the wings probably ain't that good anyway. <laughs> like. But yeah, lemon pepper, bro. That's my favorite. Give me a Somebody ten. Ask you what was I'm, your favorite ring? No, no, no. They, what they asked me was, it says, uh, "I have a daughter who I plan to start AAU next summer before the seventh grade. What should we look for in a team slash program?" Development. Development. Yeah, right. This time, development. Development. Middle school is all about. Yeah. You need to work on your For, left hand. Yeah. <laughs> you need to Forget work the on rankings. Your shooting. Your shooting. Because you know what's funny though. A lot of the top kids right now didn't play on big A and U teams in middle school. Payne Daniels didn't play nah, on the big middle school. Kowalski yeah. Reeves didn't play on the big. Matthew, well, he played with exclusive, so I can't say that was. Yeah. Well, well, I mean, yeah, we was pretty independent though. Like, yeah. 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 Hold on, man. Yo. Hold on, man. Bryce always got shots at me. Yeah. Hold on. I, yeah. I'm a, hey, a I'm lot say of people this out of that program. You top right, kids. I'm, I'm no, sorry. he has some. Hey. But yeah, I think like you say, man, player development, just getting better. Got to get like, better in middle school, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Just worrying about because right now those not, rankings not and stuff don't mean anything. I mean, and a lot. Yeah. Of, a I lot was of just times, about to say that because not worry about it's how many games you because play. because and where you're going development it matter. Yeah. because development is one of these key words that people throw around a lot, and there's disagreements about how that takes place. I'll pull back. I'll pull back the 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 curtain a little bit on what. Georgia man up means by Mm -hmm. development, right? You shouldn't be playing in 15, 16, 17 tournaments. It's way too many games. When, like Huff said, you don't need all of those games to develop. What you need games for is to see if what you've been working on in the gym is translating to the game. And then if it's not, then you got to get back in the lab. Not going to play more games. 100%. And a lot, of, a lot of times, a lot of those games are meaningful. And, yeah, meaningless yes. anyway. 100%. I mean, it's crazy. I can see and if you're doing like AAU Nationals or and, State and or whatever. Let's be real. Right. No college coach is coming to watch. Nah. No. It's no, not. most definitely. It's not. Ain't no college coach. The only, person, the rankings, are the only wow. person I've ever seen like college coaches watch or track in middle school was Zion Harmon. And like in sixth and seventh grade. Of, but he's a t- he's, yeah, yeah, one. Yeah. He's a top kid, like a top kid in the yeah. country. I've never seen, I mean, literally packed gyms from fourth grade up until now. I, I haven't seen it anybody else. No, so, I haven't either. That's true. And so, again, to pull back the curtain on Mano's program and how we talk about development too, the other thing is coaching is so important, right? I had to tell a parent too, um, okay, it's not all about playing time for development either, although playing time is important. Because I had to point to another kid on another team and say, oh, well, this kid is playing the whole game. Did they get better? Mm. Compare their growth path. This kid still got the same game that he had the year before. Mm. While your son may not necessarily be starting or may not be playing the whole game, but look at his improvement since he's been with us. Right? It's the, it's the level of coaching that you're getting in that program is true. The development and, and the growth. And the growth. Because what we had to do we had Look. high school coaches come to our practice and pull up. We Mondre. had coaches pull up. And I came to Mondre's practice. And I yeah. came to the thing practice. is, I mean, yeah. if, if, if I'm walking into a practice, and I'm and to answer that question, if I'm walking into a practice and, and I have a guard or a child that's a guard, I should be like seeing a middle school coach or AAU coach, whatever. They should be working on triple threat. They should be working on one drill pull up. Then they might go one drill pull up to a crossover to a hesitation. But after that, that's really the so, most I did. So, and you're mastering that in middle school. So just, just today, and, 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 and open shots. Today we had one at, at Holy Innocence. And we're not getting. Yep. I mean. You get to do that get, stuff over and full, over again. Can you get full court five drills? 100%. Can, can you do mm-hmm. that? Right. 100%. That matters. 
Can yeah. you get to the rim in one dribble? From one the dribble from the window. Do you know? Yeah. Do you know your footwork? Do you know if the Drop. ball's catch in your one, right hand? Catch one, two. Should yeah. be left, right. A lot of kids, a lot of kids, a lot of kids don't yep. even come Properly. off the screen with their hands ready to catch the pass. Exactly. And and, and it, that's like the, the main thing. It's like, well, how do you know where you want the pass and where, where you feel comfortable catching and releasing the ball? Your hands are down by your side. Yep. So it's like, that's what I'm looking for in middle school. <laughs> Butt down, hands ready, yeah. be shot ready, 100%. So I would say to the parent, go to practices before you commit and spend your money. Go yeah. watch them train. Go watch a practice and then ask the high school coach to maybe show up and attend a practice. You're, you're feeding into a high school coach is going to benefit that coach that you're feeding into that you play for a good program. The coach may also have some say-so to say, oh, we've had good kids come out of this program that can help refer you as well. And this question is coming from a, a guy with a female? Yes. Uh -huh. Here's something that, you know, this is – We've got to get more involved in this, this female side. We got to yeah, watch more girls. Also, we, we, yeah, we, we, we do. do. We, we do. do. I've even told SUV TV that we got to get their more Their footwork, involved. their footwork is yeah, a whole other level when it comes to basketball. It's just play different. Basketball. We just got to be more really involved. We got to get more involved. Like they yeah. actually scream. Yeah. Like boys will not set a screen. Boys won't talk. They don't yeah. talk. Don't talk. Like don't girls are going to do the, if you like details keep it simple. as a coach and you into that stuff. Then you want to then coaching girls is like gonna be your thing because they're gonna do yeah. that stuff like the detail they really gonna do that stuff. Yeah. We gotta watch it. But th those are my those are my suggestions when it comes to finding a program for your kid, whether mm -hmm. it's a boy or a girl. I would say make sure you go to practice. Make sure you watch them train. Uh, understand how many practices or training sessions that you're gonna get versus how many games that you're gonna get. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna tell you, do not care about what shoes they wear, whether you get a bag or not, or your jersey. <laughs> None of that makes you a better player. You could wear some sorry reversible jerseys and bring your own shorts and shoes. Invest in yourself, invest in your kids' game. Make sure that on top of that, that you have a trainer, that you get in shots up. I don't know where you live, but they got. The shooter's nest up 575. Make sure you're getting your shots up. Go to your local Man, you high school. Get your shots up. Go outside. Yeah, you go outside. <laughs> yeah, you go outside. You Invest you in yourself. Find a way. You got to find a way. I worked for him at Georgia Southern. That was his saying. Find a way. 100%. Don't have to play every weekend. At all. Yeah. But we can't move on yet without talking about the 16 kid from Green Forest. The biggest kid at the camp, DK. <laughs> DK. Plays for Game Elite B5. Yeah, Big 5. I'm sorry. Coached by um, Paris Johnson, man. Hey. That kid, he doesn't say much. <laughs> doesn't need to. Yeah. But <laughs> Don't need to. That game he, loud. He plays so hard. Like, he will block the shot and still be the first dude down the court, run the floor, then dunk. <laughs> the other thing that I noticed from him, too, he's smiling. True. He's on the Smile. floor yeah. having a good, good like time. Like, he yeah. loves playing basketball. Like, he doesn't complain. 100%. He just keep playing. Just 100%. keep playing. Keep playing. Love watching that kid. Oh, yeah. So, Lock, you ready? The South got something to say. Oh, the South got something to say, man. We got something to say. <laughs> I got a lot of updates going on. Georgia. Go ahead and put it up, man. So the, the first update, man. Shout out to Tiff County, Georgia. man. They lost a um great assistant who's yeah. been, you know, with the coaching staff for like 20 years. He was on every state championship team. Um, I got Coach Bateman, man. So shout out to him. You know, that was a big loss. Like Tiffin just went through a lot. This past summer, you know, one of their assistants just got a new head coaching job. Then my my guy, Coach Wade, man, he went to Turner County, became the AD and the assistant principal. So, you know, that's good for him that he move on. Absolutely. And so they was able to hire um assistant coach who's been with the staff, the staff over there at Tiff County, um, Xavier Holmes. He's a good guy. I feel like Tiff County still going to be a powerhouse that you still going to have to look out for in 7A. They still got a guy, you know, JT, who, you know, came up to the scene last year. So I still think Tiff County going to still make some noise down here in the state. Man, my favorite for 3A, I got to take it away. I had Monroe win the state championship in 3A. God dang, Bryce. <laughs> Six, eight, Quadre Watts, Quadre Watts transfer. <laughs> I, had nothing, look, I had nothing dang. to do with that. Yeah, so, you were watching whoever yeah, you were. Yeah. I had nothing to do with that. Yeah, so my favorite to win 3A, man, I got to change it now. Since the big, the big kid went to um, Minnesota prep school, man. So Who, you know, goes, he, who wants to go there? Hey man, but <laughs> well, best of luck to him, man. It's hard. It's hard for a South Georgia guy to go to that cold. <laughs> it's 
It's not for anybody to yeah. get in that cold. Yeah. But, you know, shout out to him, man. Shout out to, you know, Coach Hallpower, man. You got a lot. Hey, I know you're going to figure it out, man. You figured it out this past season, taking your team to the state championship where nobody talked about you but me. <laughs> so I feel like, you know, you still going to make some noise this year, man. Let me tell for that project. Great player. Yeah. yeah. Great Most player. definitely. Um, fellas, we coming to the end of the show? Yes, sir. Um, let's give them a you ain't even know it. <laughs> let's talk about who the sleeper is or something about Georgia basketball that everybody else is sleep on and they don't understand what's going on. Let's fill them in where you ain't even know it. Um. Let go me, ahead, Lot. Let me go. go ahead, hey, man. Go ahead, Lot. Tell them what it is. Put some respect on DJ Wright's name. Because why, why? no invite to the top 100 camp. <laughs> <laughs> like, he's in nobody's rankings. He got offered this summer, didn't he? He got one offer from Bryant. Yeah. Columbus State, y'all slipping. <laughs> like, this kid, I don't see him hit multiple game winners this summer. Yeah, he almost hit one on me. Yeah, like, I'm like here it go. This kid been killing him <laughs> and also Tyler Johnson. Like, yeah. them are my two kids that I watch, and I'm like, these kids deserve more attention and more offers than they're getting. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. 100%. Are you waiting you for me? Bryce? Who am I going in on? Or do I? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't it matter. Go ahead. Uh, Tell them what we man, I, I, I got to give a shout out to my nephew, man. He got an offer from, from uh, UAB yesterday, Zako Littleton. ZJ. Uh, yeah. I think he's really going to be a problem in the next. You know, as he continues to mature and you know develop and stuff like that, he's 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 a problem now, but he's really gonna be a problem. Oh, he might be that next young hey, bull. My boy Robbie got that offer too now. Yeah, Robbie UAB. Yeah, yeah, Robbie's a goon. Yeah, goon. Yeah, hundred yeah. yeah. percent. You want close it? You want to close? All right. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna say something that uh, a lot of people may not realize. Uh, we talked about Zako Littleton getting an offer. Zako Littleton is a point guard, <laughs> and you ain't even know it. So much is said about Zako as a shooter, probably the best shooter in the state, maybe one of the best shooters in the country. Um, I'd be willing to put money up, go shot for shot, what it is. I said but, it six years ago. <laughs> but he is a point guard that can shoot. He is a point guard that can shoot. I've been saying that for a long time. You got to start looking at the kid as a basketball player I say to he's see a him as the right player, ang- yeah. to see him uh-huh. through the right lens and not just looking at him as, as a shooter. I saw a couple of situations where he was in before he started playing with a uh, wire in and before he was playing with the George Kane 17U. Zako, he Zako. missed a couple of threes, and then you're going to take Look, him out and sit him down. You're looking at him as a shooter. Zako, a played, Zako played George Kane 17U as an eighth grader. As an eighth grader. And was hitting threes and going for like double figures Who? as an eighth grader. Who? When you can play 17. 17. Yeah. And not get exposed and play defense. He's ready to go. He's ready yeah. to go, man. Zago Littleton is a basketball player. He's yeah. a point guard that can shoot. And you ain't even He's a know player. Him. Yeah. I get to close it out. Close it out, Huff. So I got two. I'm going to start with the easy one. Girls basketball in Georgia is just as good as boys basketball. I agree. You didn't even know it. Yeah. Wow. Genesis Bryant. Naya down at Lovejoy, Forest Park program, Westlake, McKeetra. Woo, Westlake. Woo, she going to win two more champions. Yeah. I can keep going down the list of girls. Westlake basketball is and, and serious. And keep going mm-hmm. that we don't talk about. Talk about yeah. Like we said, well, we don't even you know, know what, what, though? How good yeah. it is. That's true. Columbus girls basketball that's has been that. dominating yes. the state. You don't even know Columbus, like yeah. yeah. So that, that's my first one. The last one is college coaches better step up your game. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. And, and I'm not saying this in a bad way, Uh-oh. but it says a lot Uh-oh. that a staff and an assistant that was here in Atlanta is getting is writing handwritten notes to high school coaches now all the way from New Orleans. Shoot, the coach Purdue, Tulane. Well, they get it done. They've been getting it done. They get it but, done. But they didn't even know they still getting it done. Sending handwritten notes to they high been. school coaches here in Georgia. They've been getting it right done. now. Sheesh, they've been getting it done. And you wonder why. Real, real relationships. And you wonder, real, relationships, real relationships. And you wonder why they were getting it done in Georgia. They were getting it done. Facts. Real relationships. So if you're not doing that with all these players we got in Georgia. It's a lot of them, too. Low major, mid major, high major. D2. To me, there's a yeah. problem. You, it's time to build relationships. Get on them, coach. Real relationships with these high school guys. We got great coaches. 
yeah. in the state of Georgia. We do. Yep. South Georgia, Middle Georgia, Georgia, North, North Georgia, Georgia yeah. Metro Atlanta, great coaches. We do. 100%. Savannah, all the way around. Oh, yeah, man. Seaport, man. If some kids came from on Woodville, Tompkins, man. He gonna, out. Yeah. <laughs> keep a player. Yeah, yeah. he keep players. <laughs> he keep players, man. Man, that wraps up our show, man. I appreciate y'all walking with us for the love of the game, Reloaded. Reloaded. Partnership with SUV TV, man. It's been an absolute blast. It was uh, fun. Be sure that if you're not watching this podcast live, number one, you missed it. <laughs> but you can go back and watch it on demand at the SUVTV.com. Go to their YouTube channel. Like, comment, subscribe, rock with us. We're going to be reading y'all comments on the show in the future. We're going to get in there and dig in. You ask a good question, you offer me some lemon pepper wings <laughs> um, or some sweet heat yeah. or something like that, some teriyaki action. You know what I'm saying? Hey, you might man. get your name called. Bring me a Popeye's uh, chicken sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> We got some new action. We coming. Just wait till you see the special guest that we're going to have on episode two, man. I'm about to reach out. We're going to put it down with a special <laughs> guest. I got somebody I got somebody that, that's going to be a guest for episode two that I've been waiting to have as a guest on this show since the inception of the show that we talked about in episode one. Um, the podcast will still be available on all your DSPs, full audio. So Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, you still going to catch it. But then we got video coming uh, on the SUVT platform. So keep rocking with us. Stay with us. It's for the love of the game. And we out.